Rangers are coming off an 18-8 victory over a stubborn, much improved Gila Ridge team out of Yuma. The Hawks had entered last week's game with a 2-0 record and trailed the Tigers 9-8 going into the final quarter. The Imperial points came on a 65-yard touchdown pass from C.J. Tiernan to Jared Nixon and a blocked punt by Ethan Reeves that was resulted in a safety. The Tigers would seal the game with a 20-play drive. I don't know, George. I'd have to look back. I don't remember us having a 20-play drive. No, I don't. I don't think we have. Yeah, yeah. we've been a long time since we, we have. But sure, no. eight up the clock. No, that's, that's what it. I was going to point out next. A 10-minute drive. I don't remember having that long a drive either. So a 20-play, 10-minute drive took up a lot of the clock, and it led to a Richard Robinson one-yard touchdown run. Two minutes later, Pablo Moreno picked off his first interception of the season leading to an Ethan Gonzalez 36-yard field goal to complete the 10-point win of the Tigers' fourth victory in five outings. However, we're meeting a team tonight that is 5-0. and We'll take a look at the Bulldogs when our pregame show continues in just a moment. If we at home, now at 607 West Main Street in El Centro, the largest vintage and antique collection in the valley. Over 3,000 square feet of collectibles and antiques. With a wide selection of vendors, you never know what you're going to find at Simply at Home. Come check out the other great businesses inside Simply at Home's new location, such as Lola the Central, Wicked Ink Tattoo, All Valley Estate, and Odds and Ends. That's Simply at Home, open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5.30, and Saturdays, 10 to 3, at 607 West Main Street in El Centro. Learning a new skill, continuing your education, or returning to school for the first time can be stressful. IVC has the resources to help you succeed by offering programs to eligible students who qualify for tuition assistance, book grants, and additional programs like IVC's Kitchen Pantry, Housing Program, Career Services Support, and so much more. Let Imperial Valley College help you become a college graduate. Visit imperial.edu slash admissions to register today. Imperial Valley College is recognized nationwide as a top 10 community college for college excellence. Start that day off right with your favorite drink from Brickhouse Coffee. Next door to Brickhouse Deli at the Lisa Tucker Center in Imperial. Brickhouse Coffee has so many drinks to choose from. Hot drinks, blended drinks, or cold drinks, including the best tea in the valley with different flavors. Open daily with a convenient drive through And next door, Brickhouse Deli with big, full, fresh flavor. The Valley's premier deli serving breakfast and lunch. So, come visit them both at the Lisa Tucker Center on West Aiton Road in Imperial. For over 60 years, the Imperial Quarterback Club has supported all sports teams at Imperial High School. The money they raise goes a long way, keeping our kids busy with school activities. Members are parents and community people who care and want to donate their time. If you would like to become a member, call Betty or Larry Zinn at 760-355-1312. That's 760-355-1312. The Quarterback Club, which is the Imperial Tigers, a great season. Go Tigers! Have you been wanting new flooring but putting it off? Don't wait anymore. Derma Floor Covering has the flooring you want at blowout prices. Yes, I mean blowout prices. Hardwood plank, regularly priced $9.99 a square yard, now $3.99 a square yard, and over 1,100 square feet in stock. Select tiles, regularly priced $5.99 to $6.49 a square foot, now on sale at $1.34 to $1.99 a square foot. Stop by Derma's Floor Covering today, 220 North J Street in Imperial. Your flooring wishes can come true. At Dermas War Covering. And the Flex Commotion Band. Great job. There's a national anthem finishing up as we prepare for tonight's ball game. Uh, they get along with George Grahalva for tonight's game between the Clutchco Bulldogs and the Imperial Tigers. The Bulldogs under second year head coach Fernando Solano come into the game with a spotless 5-0 and record in facing the 4-1 and Tigers. This is the first time the Bulldogs have been 5-0 and since how long ago? Do you remember? Uh, nope. 2016, who was the head coach? Pardon me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember, they were 5-0 yeah, and exactly. we came down we here. here. We were sitting right over there. Exactly, you're right. We were sitting on the south end of the visitors' bleachers because they were replacing... All the preachers in, right? Yeah. So the Tigers at that point came into that game 0-5, and, and the Bulldogs were 5-0 and under head coach John Tyree, who coached at Imperial back in the 70s. And uh, ever since then, they have struggled until Solano took over the reins. He took a program that had lost 21 of the last 29 contests, and in his first season came within a game of the San Diego Section Division 5 title a year ago with a 7-6 and six record. 
They opened the season with a 14-13 overtime win over last year's Division Five champion, Taliberti, and that's the only team to defeat the Yellow Jackets this year. They followed that up with victories over Castle Park, 48-33 on the road, defeated Seddies 31-6. Uh, Rift O'Farrell, Charles 55 to nothing before posting a second shutout in a row. Ripping Oldville 39 to nothing two weeks ago. That extra week of preparation is what Coach Solano hopes will be the key in IVL play. The captain's out on the field right now. And for the Bulldogs, Carlos Hernandez, one of the captains. And then a name you hear a lot tonight, Zeus Pradis is one of the captains. Another is Arredondo, Mario Arredondo, and also Ishmael Burgess are the captains for the Bulldogs, and they're all in their garnet. You don't see the gold, the garnet and gold, but it's garnet and white tonight. White helmets with a B on the side in garnet as well, and then a stripe down the middle of the helmet, and white trim with the white numbers on their jerseys. The Tigers in all white visiting with red helmets. The number on one side and IT on the other. The Tigers won the toss, but they're going to elect to kick off to re- get this ball game started and the Tigers are kicking into the wind. It's a pretty stiff wind coming out of the south. The field here, the word field in Calexico runs south and north. So the Tigers will be defending the north goal kicking off to the south and again yeah. into a very stiff wind to open up this ball game. It's getting started a little earlier than what we thought. So and a little bit more we were going to talk about, but uh, both teams on the field, they're ready to go. Again, the Bulldogs 5-0 and on the season. The Tigers are 4-1, and one, and this is the beginning of Imperial Valley League play. The Tigers last year went 2-2 two and two in IVL. Calexico went 1-3. and three. But as you mentioned, uh, the Bulldogs would go into the playoffs and come within one game of making it to the championship game before losing to Mission Bay, who then eventually right. lost to Palo Verde. Yeah. So... This is a, a completely different Bulldog team that we've seen the last few years. Last year was a close game, if you remember, it was 14 to 6. It was our homecoming in Imperial last year. And uh, in that game, uh, Dominic Suarez got a touchdown pass, and then the other was Pablo Moreno scooped up a fumble, remember, in front of us, and then went for the touchdown. That was the two touchdowns the Tigers had. Uh, however, Imperial has had their number 15 and 0. Imperial was one over the Bulldogs, I'm sure. That uh, has been told to the team oh, throughout yeah. this week for Calexico that they have not won in the last 15 games against Imperial. So they're going to be out for it tonight. They're playing great football right now. Ethan Gonzalez will be kicking out for the Tigers, and the kick will go down and toward the end zone. They'll go to the two yard line and pick up from there out to the 10, cuts to the outside of the 15, hit up the 18 yard line, and then brought down is Frankie Loera Rodriguez, and that's where the Bulldogs will take over first and 10. They will be at their own. 19 yard line. Great coverage by the Tigers and Pablo Moreno. Pablo Moreno. Thank starting line of offense, I'm sorry, starting line for Calexico. Sean Torres, a sophomore, has taken over for David Escher, who got injured, and he's expected to start tonight, and he is indeed getting into the lineup now. Zeus Bodies is one of the running backs. Leo Cancho is the other. Uh, the running wide receivers, Marco Escher, Benjamin Rodriguez. Jesse Hernandez is a tight end, and along the line, Skyo Monzon, Nicholas Leon, Mario Hernando at center, Jared Ramos, and Josmar Alvarado. Might have been a shotgun formation. And I was going to go to Fadis. He'll go over the right side. He gets stood up at the line of scrimmage. He'll get a gain of a yard or two at the 21. It'll be a second down and eight. Looks like he moved a little bit early on that one. Look who's here. Jackie <laughs> Platt is here. So, Roy, if you're listening, Jamie says hi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's going to be listening in. Okay, good deal. <laughs> so, Pradis, who has eight touchdowns this season, opened up the game against Sobra two weeks ago with a 75-yard touchdown run. Got a lot of speed and strong. We'll get the Tigers defense for you in just a moment with a second down and eight. The Bulldogs on their own 21-yard line. Pradis will take to the left of the quarterback, Torres. Gets the snap, same handoff over the right side. Cuts up field at the 25-yard line, going to get stacked up. But it looks like he may have a first down or at least close to it. He'll be out near the 30-yard line. It will be a first down for the Bulldogs. Right up the middle. That time, ended up making the tackle. Pablo Moreno hit him like two. After he got about two or three yards, he able to break that tackle. Good hard run. 
So the Bulldogs are the first and ten right at their own 30-yard line along the front line for the Tigers. He is Aiden Shield, Jose Apodaca, and Max Alvarez. And uh, the quarter. four-man front works like right now to try to stop that rushing game that the Bulldogs have used. As we mentioned, Friday, 610 yards rushing, which is more than the entire Tiger team. It's going to be a jet sweep around to the right side, cut in the corner. He's going to get a little bit of yardage out of it. Once again, it's going to be Loyal Rodriguez who took the kickoff back. He's going to be ran out of bounds at about the 38-yard line. That'll be a gain of a second down and two. He could throw him. That was a good block by the first back, number 30. Break him out to the outside. Finally brought down by Angel Perron. Linebacker Zach Ray, Lillian Jimenez. Pablo Moreno, Ethan Reed, cornerback Devin Mays, and Victor Valenzuela, who will be a combo with Seth Shaw in the defensive backfield as well. Inside handoff coming to the near side this time and uh, getting close to the first down. I believe he's going to have it. The ball carrier is going to be Andres Castro, and that's his first carry. It'll get out to the 41 yard line, a gain of three and a first down for the Bulldogs. Their second one of the game. Like we right. He's waiting for that hole to come open, waiting on the blocking. Showing some patience to do so. Yeah. He's got some big legs. Yeah, he does. Wow. He's got some spine. Yeah. He is to the, in the backfield. It will be to the left. Once again, no Torres in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Inside handoff going the other way. And turning the corner. Then hitting the Tigers after a couple of yard gain. Tigers step up hard in there, but still it's a good two yard gain. It'll be a second down and eight. Let me get a number. Can't see the number. Oh, yeah. Angel Barone. Angel Barone and Ethan Reed. So second down and eight from the 43 for the Bulldogs. Their initial drive of the ball game that started at their own 19 yard line after their 43. We'll keep you updated on the scores throughout the Valley. There's some big games we'll tell you about. And if we get a chance at halftime, we're going to go back through. This series, the last 15 games, and throw some names that you haven't heard in a while, maybe sure. We've got to have time. Second down and eight, man in motion, coming to the near side. Turned up field too soon, but he's going to get away with it. Now rolling out to his left, the story is going to pass it down on his knees to catch the ball, but it will be a good catch at the 47 yard line. It was Benjamin Rodriguez, and that will get it out to the 48. They're going to mark it a gain of five, but a third down and three coming up. This rolls off the net, get away from the front line. Ethan, I'm sorry, Max Alvarez, sorry to much, just a bit. For Rodriguez, that's his fourth catch of the year. He has a touchdown to his credit. It'll be a third down and three from the 48. Tigers move their front line around as the short side of the field is the near side. So we're just the hand up over to the running back who will get the first down. Can't quite see it might be Friday. And it looks like he does have the first down across midfield to the Tiger 48-yard line, first and 10 for the Bulldogs. First down. The bad thing is Seth Shaw made the tackle along with Zach Ray. Four-yard gain for Friday. So now it's 15 and three carries. As I mentioned, he had 70 carries, 610 yards, eight touchdowns. That's 200-yard games this year. So he's been a workhorse for him, and he'll be to the right side of Torres in the shotgun. They stayed the in the shotgun throughout this game. So far, first and 10 from the 48. Inside jet sweep to the up. This is not going to be stopped for a loss. Running back is going to be Loreo Rodriguez. He'll be stopped right at the 50 yard line. A loss of two. Second down as well. JJ Jimenez with a hit on him. Great. Great stop by the Tiger. They've been moving the ball fairly easy on the Tiger front. Now, talking to Stephen Sheldon, you tell me that they're pretty good up front. They're solid up front. So, second down and 12, right at the 50 yard line now for the Bulldogs, going right to left on your dial from the south to the north on KXO Radio um, for the YouTube or KXORadio.com. And a motion to the near side. Torres back to pass. Then Lee Black goes down. He's going to pass it deep. Has a receiver! Incomplete. He was covered well back there, but I think we're going to have a motion penalty going against Colectico as there are some players moving yep. too soon, and it is an illegal shift. And it will be a five yard penalty. And bring it back to the Bulldogs 45 yard line. 
good coverage of the defensive back field over the Tigers. Yeah, Devin Benson did a great job on this season. Tigers are going to decline that and make it a third down and 12 from the 50. Ooh. So we have third down and 12 right at the 50 yard line for the Bulldogs in all garnet. Jerseys and pants on oh, light trim. I've always liked the sharp. Yeah, I've always liked the sharp, too. Especially at night. It's a sharp yeah, at night. It's a bit green grass. Yeah. They're down and 12 from the 50 yard line. Torres gets the ball, rolls out to his left, left handed thrower. Has a lot of pressure on him. Oh, He's going to throw it away, and there's nobody there. there. That's going to be a tip. There it is. That's a loss of a down, too. Fourth. Yeah. That's it. So, Ethan. Yeah, Ethan Shields. Reed, uh, Reed. Uh, right, and Aiden Shields got in there quickly, too. He was all over the place. So, a lot of pressure put on, and Torres just throwing it. Maybe some, uh, as a sophomore, maybe not a lot of experience in a situation like that. We're going to pick up the flag and say no flag. It'll be 4th down at 12, and Calexico will have to punt. Well, this we have good coverage by the team. Yeah. He oh, yeah. the backfield, and uh, he had no, no footing to throw to. Oh. He just kept rolling and rolling and rolling to his step because nobody opened. Everybody covered and a lot of pressure. Yeah. Maurice Hernandez Martinez will be back to punt. I think that better back up just a little bit. I punt, going to pick the wind up. Fair catch called by John. He's going to catch it with a knee down at the 16 yard line. And that's where the Tigers will take over possession. For the first time in the game, I've thrown 16 yard line with 6.16 to go in this first quarter of play and no score. How many breaths, how many plays did they have that first time? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plays. Okay, yeah. that's what I have. Not a tackles already. So Tigers the ball first to ten for their own 16 yard line. CJ Tiernan, in the quarterback. He'll have Seth Sean, Richard, Robinson back and forth in the backfield. Right now, Shaw will be in the backfield. Richard will go into the slot right along with Jared Nixon. And on the far side, Dominic Suarez, deep and. That should be And penalty flag is going to go down. It will be Zach that will go deep to the left side. And Devin Mesa will be in the slot. It's going to be a penalty flag going against Collectico. Good idea to, to try to get them to jump right there. Yeah. Now the nose guard, too. Right in front of the ball. So they'll make it a first and five now for the Tigers at the 21 yard line. Along the front line for the Tigers as they have a dock at center. Andres Castell and Ethan Areola at the guard. Ethan Reeves and Aiden Shields in the tackle position. First and five for the Tigers from their own 21 yard line. Tiernan taking his time from the shotgun. Gets the snap. Back to pass. Going to be a good oh, one. It's going to be caught by Mesa. Avoids the tackle. It's the 30 yard line. Gets across the 35. Will be brought down at the 40. A gate of 19 in the first down for Imperial. That was supposed to be big dog right there. And it's a big six of the best, too. Yeah. He must have got, I bet it went through his hands. That was a dangerous one. <laughs> but then Devin made a great job of avoiding the tackle and getting 19 yards out of it. Yes, sure yeah. did. Good run after catch. The they, first seen, they seen the fist coming from that side. They pointed. That's why they went that way. So first and 10 Imperial from their own 40 yard line on this initial drive of the ball game. 548 to go in this first quarter play. No score. The unbeaten Bulldogs and the once beaten Tigers. In the Imperial Valley League opener, only IBL game on tap tonight. Three wide receivers come to the near side of the field now. Mesa will come out along with Ray and Robinson, who now goes in motion to the far side. Gets the handoff around the right, left side. Oh, it up. Trips up. Just trips up on himself and will end up back at the line of scrimmage. No gain. In fact, they might give him a yard loss. Going to put it back to the 39 yard line, a loss of one. Second down and 11. Yeah, he just. I don't know if he saw something there and just got going too quick. It's just like he just laid out. Yep. Pulled his gun hard fucking needle. Yep. Coming around third base and he trips. DC scored. Coach Holman says, God, what happened? Okay, he's through his face. The earth moved. <laughs> the earth moved. There you go. Through his face. You get it back at the quarterback. In the shotgun, goes back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Goes out, has the receiver. Going to be a little bit underthrown. To Zach Ray, it'll be a third down and 11. Ah, he had him open. Had him open. Short hand. And Zach is, has this height advantage over the, the back for the Bulldogs, too. And, of course, to the sideline. 
So go down to 11 for a second, somewhere on 39. Welcome once again, Lee Elder from Chalmage, Ohio, checking in with us. Our East Coast representative is also going to keep us tapped up on how San Diego State is playing tonight against Boise State in college football. Welcome, Lee. Thanks for listening in again. Third down and 11 for the Tigers. And the shotgun again, turning back to back. That's up. Going to throw it oh. deep, and there's a miscommunication there as Jared Nixon went inside. The ball was thrown outside, incomplete. Fourth down and 11, the Tigers lost five. It started out quite promising and just ended. Yeah, because it's still the inside Nixon had to be. But he was trying to get to the outside. It looked like he's been held, but he's trying to get to the box that was thrown to the outside. He's just trying to go through the defender. Modern day Catholic leading Central 7 and nothing early in the game. Modern day just picked up their first win last week. One and four, but they're number seven in Division One because the three other losses they have were the top three teams in the division. Wow. Ethan Gutierrez will be funny, or Gonzalez will be funny, and it's going to bounce. Oh. The Tiger bounce inside the 20. Keep rolling. Inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. <laughs> and that's where oh. Pomar will have the ball first to 10 at her on 13. Yeah, he should have got that one. He should have got that one. He had a lot of room. Oh, we moved the ball a little bit. Yeah, moved a little bit. Got the 19 yarder. Maybe something that, like, like we're maybe thinking of passing more tonight. And uh, like the passes were there. I mean, the positions were there. It's just a matter of getting the timing in on it. Now you got to remember, he's going to get the win. Right. Have to put a little, little bit of air underneath it. Air John Torres, a sophomore quarterback, 18 of 30 for 410 yards passing. Six touchdowns, no interceptions. And came in when their senior quarterback, David Escare, got injured three games ago. And has done a great job. First and 10 from the 13. And off by the right side, gets away from one Tiger tackler, but there's many more waiting for him. And it'll be a loss back to the 10 yard line, a loss of three. And it'll be a second down and 13. Oh, that's Zach and Nathan. It was Zach Gray, but Moreno's the one that hit him in the back to him, slowed him way down. I think it was Friday, East on that one. It's hard to tell because we're all on the other direction. Yeah. They're a ways away from us now. We're way up there. This is like uh, a. Key Ridge. Key Ridge, but I was thinking. Way just, away yeah. from the field. With the binoculars on it now. So he's back to pass. And he'd be inside head up the front. He finds a couple of holes to get through on the right side, but he's going to be stopped right at the 15 yard line. So give him a gain of five, but a third down and eight coming up for the Bulldogs. I can't, I can't believe Seth was in on that tackle. Playing a little tight. Even Zach Gray can laugh for the tackle. Wind blowing very hard. That's very the top thing you hear on our microphones. We're trying to cover them as best we can, but it's blowing pretty hard here. Back to pass Torres. Quick one. It's going to be blocked and knocked down. JJ. Yeah, coming in on it. Man, it's coming in hard on that, blocking it. It'll be a fourth down and eight. And the Bulldogs will have the fun. Good defense on that. Good. Great. Yeah, I think they spotted something now. Because I'm worried of the way. Well, first they deep flight, and I just cannot believe yeah. how they did that. Well, the only loss Blythe has had, and it was played in Imperial of all places. Yeah. At the first of the year when uh, the Transformers knocked all the power out in Blythe, and two days later they finished that the second the half of the game in Imperial. The weirdest deal. That was weird. What a trip. So once again, Martinez will be punting deep to receive shot. He's right at midfield. Sit that back. It's off the punt. Wind's going to carry it. The shot's going to go back and catch it over his shoulder at the 40 yard line. The third catch will be at the 43. And the Tigers will have the ball first and 10 to throw on 43. That was kind of a dangerous one. That was going to be that and catch it. That ball's going to roll. Yeah, that at least the 10 yard line or so. so. It was dangerous, but it was a good move as you look at it. Now, this kid's taking two steps and good kicking it. Yeah, quick. Yeah, he did. Because the Tigers got in there pretty quick. And they were there. Yeah. yeah. That's what he. Line drive, but that wind carrying. Yep. 
It says that reach behind him to get that. I didn't see the fair cat. I thought he had left. I didn't either. I didn't I either. He had with you. Room. But he stopped running, so I figured it was, and the referee was right there on the mark. So. Tigers were ball first and 10 at their own 43 yard line. Their second drive of the night. We can understand that. Man in motion and hand off to the left side to Richard Robinson. There's a lot of bulldogs there. He's able to turn the corner, though. We'll get five or six yards. Still in the He may have the first down. He went out of bounds at the 49, they're going to say. So a gain of seven on that. Tigers have a second down of three. And number 29, 29th, picked him up in the backfield. He was able to keep his balance. And then I like the way he shoots uh, defend, uh, the defensive end and beat him around the corner. It'll be a six-yard gain, so second down and four from the Tiger 49. Yeah, he made a lot of, out of nothing. A lot, yeah. And then if he doesn't step out there, he still had another seven, eight yards in yeah, that game. Yeah, right. Got such a big, quick speed. Yeah. He looks very strong. But, man, when he gets going, oh, I just have two wide receivers each side of the field. And Jenner will go back into the shotgun. Man in motion this way is Robinson. He'll get the handoff around the right side. He'll be face two tackles. Oh, he's going at the 40-yard line of the Bulldogs. And will be continues on his way inside the 30. And he's getting pushed by the Tigers behind him. But he'll get down to the 28-yard line for the Bulldogs. And a first down on a 29-yarder. Still fighting. Wow. Man, he didn't want to give up. Great run by the young man. Just yes. a freshman. freshman. That's the cool part. He's just a freshman. I love it when he refuses to go down like that. Take him out of the lineup for a play. Shot will be in the backfield with Kiernan. Kiernan in the shotgun. Goes up to the far side. He's going to get Zach Ray. And Zach's going to get the ball down to about the 21-yard line. That'll be a good gain of seven. Second down and three. As, as big as Zach is, that's hard to defend against. Yeah, it is. Right there. Yeah. Quick hitter next day. Yep. You almost got to play right on it. They're right. playing right now. Got to play soft at the beginning. But he let us in. This, and then it sounds like we have a hug. But I don't know if it's not the wind blowing. I just do the wind blowing. I don't like it here. I'm trying to yeah. block it. Yeah, we're trying to block it as best we can. But it's going pretty well out of the southeast and directly into us here in the press box. Man goes in motion, and I'll second back through, and man, the Bulldogs are waiting on that. So you made the tackle on that. Wow, what a superb play. Diego Trejo looks like made the stop. 53? Wow. I can't. I can't. Like not turning my own. It might be 53. But it is. It's Thomas Ibarra. So it is Ibarra. Makes the stop back at the 25-yard line. And it'll be a third down now, and about seven. That was a big hit. He yeah, stopped that right in his track. And he grabbed both of his knees, and there's no way Seth was moving. No, he didn't have a chance at all. Yeah. Great job by right Barr coming off those guard position. Jenny goes back to pass. That's a roll, and he's going to get hit, oh. and he's going to throw it down. It's going to be a loss of a down on the penalty. It'll make it a fourth down and loss of yardage because he threw the ball down with nobody out there. No, I don't see where Zach is coming. Yeah, there's a ways away. Yeah. It's going to be intentional grounding. And this would be a situation where you might think that Ethan could kick a field goal, but he's right into the, he's out there, yeah. but he may be going to punt. He's going right into a very stiff wind straight at him. I doubt they try getting a field goal with him. It would be 50 years now. Well, it's moving the ball back now. Well, it's a little bit more than that. Yeah, those two. Go for it. Almost 60 there. Yeah, that's a 15-yard penalty. Maybe if I'm over here. If we're a 15-yard penalty, I thought it was just a five, or does it go from the point of the infraction? From the point of the infraction, right. yeah. Okay. So the Gonzalez will punt it. It's going to bounce the 15 to the 10, and we'll roll. The Tigers will let it stop at the seven-yard line. And once again, another great punt by one of the nation's leaders in punting, Ethan Gonzalez. That is so awesome. Isn't that great? He's yeah. now averaging over 50 yards of punt, by the way, before this game. Now, that is going to mess it up a little bit because it's only going to be a 37-yarder, but he got it inside the 10-yard line. Yeah. That's, the key. That's what he's doing, going right. for that corner. Exactly. You think we're More important it than the distance yeah. to get inside where it's at. 46 seconds remain of this first quarter of play. Let's go to the ball. First and 10 at their own seven. No score here in the Border City. Wow, it's going quick. Oh, they're running. That's tough on the yeah. block, that's for sure. 
Fadis will be to the right side of Torres in the shotgun. Torres a left-handed thrower. Hand off inside to Fadis. He'll get met up at the 10-yard line. He's a tough runner. He'll get across that to about the 12. And that'll be a gain of five yards, second down and five. He went head to head against 12 Kia Campos. I like the way he put it down. Oh, I like the way he put it set down better than those well. So second down and five, 23 seconds. I think one more play may be in by the end of this quarter. And it's surprised that Presco is not hurrying up to use the boom behind the back, though. No. Try to get a couple of plays in. They're not running anything. The coach already just said, you know, let, let the clock run out. So they're going to go ahead and let the clock run out on this first quarter of play with the score Imperial 0 and Calexico 0. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here in Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year, PO box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of Fourth and Hyle in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970 970-4500. Bo and his team of employees at Jazz Auto Body are constantly striving on giving you 100% satisfaction on getting your vehicle repaired and fixed right. Jazz Auto Body is grateful for the support they hear from the job they're doing and being highly rated with CarWise.com. Yes, accidents are disturbing and Jazz Auto Body is here for you to ease the pain and fix your vehicle as fast as possible. Stop by at 1880 West Euclid Avenue in El Centro. Zero zero after one quarter. As you said, the game's going by quick. No score here in Calexico. Kind of checked in. My sister from up in Middleton, Idaho. Middleton, 62 degrees. Ooh, over. I love it. It's starting to get fall at this time. Love it. Happy to tune in. Yeah, thank you for listening. We ought to check in from Talmadge, Ohio, saying it's 53 degrees back in Ohio. And San Diego State leading Boise State 13 to 7 right now. At least we had a, a little hum for half a minute or so ago. So, and it might just be the wind, the way it's blowing right now. It's really difficult for us. Hand out to Buddy, set the middle, going to break open. We'll get the first down. Still in his beat. Twirls across the 20 yard line to the 23. And a first down for the Bulldogs on a gain of nine yards by Zeus Brody. Good run. I like the way he. Yeah, yeah, tough runner. Set, set in him. About the 20 yard line. Maybe inside the 20. Was able to get away from him, and then Angel Barone and Pablo Corno got him down. Andres Castro comes to the sideline for the Bulldogs. You know, Jesse Hernandez comes into the lineup, go to the slot right, they go trips to the right this time for the Bulldogs. Torres, another inside hand out to front, he's up the middle. Goes away again for some tacklers. Still in his feet. The Tigers are going to bring him down. But uh, you're going to say it's forward progress. Got him to the 25 yard line. A gain of two, second down and eight. Good. Good. Go ahead. Pablo Moreno. Again, the tackle for the Tigers. 33 yards on eight carries for Pradi. Yeah, we spoke that tackle too. He's a tough runner. I do too. Just come to the sideline now. And it looks like that uh, Andres Castro will come back in. He'll be to the left side of Torres. And a man in motion comes Oh, and a broken play. Quarterback's going to have to keep it. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. We'll just cross the 25 yard line. Give him a gain of a yard for the third down and seven coming up. Good job by Max Auburn not to give up on that. He came from the right side of the field and brought him down from behind. A broken play, but you have to give credit to the sophomore quarterback. He ended up making a yard out of something that looked like an issue. He's going to use a lot of yards, but he's able to get back and get a yard out of it. So third down and seven for the Bulldogs from around 26. The two wide receivers to the left side of the field now. Cancelo will go slot right. Castro will remain in the backfield. Back to Pat Torres. So a short one to Castro and goes right off of his feet. Very low. A lot of pressure though yeah. by the Tiger defense. The Cook Factor is back in. And he's not even. So fourth down and seven from the 26th. They're at the punt. 
that was right up the middle last time. Those can be nice little screens. Said he not supposed to know that. Who could have done it? He was open. Yeah, I think he just panicked. Right, I think you're right. I think he got a lot of pressure coming into his face and he had to get rid of it. Well, I know I would if Zach was there. Oh, we do. So now Jean will be deep to receive. He'll be standing at his own 40 yard line or around there. And now Luis Martinez, who had a 47 yarder against Hovell a couple of weeks ago, will need to try to boot one big against the wind here. See how that turns out. It's a very stiff win right straight into his face. Good snap back. Gets the pen off. It's going to go hard and not far. The wind's going to keep it at the 40 yard. And then it takes the Tiger bounce and it's going to be stopped at the 42 yard line of the Bulldogs. So a drill has great field position, first and 10, and will be at the Bulldog 42, but a penalty flag back of the line of scrimmage. So let's see what that flag is for. Holding on the offense for that, I'm sure they're going to decline that and take the ball to 42. That's a great field position. And last coach, John wants to end the kick another again. one in the air, but I don't think so. I think we'll take it there, and that's great field position for the Tigers. First and 10 at the Calexico 42-yard line. Now that took a big bounce backwards for him. And that was a big win, too. The wind just killed that ball, got up in the air, and the wind just made it die. So the Tigers, great opportunity to get on the scoreboard first for the first and 10 from the Calexico 42-yard line. Nixon would go right out to the right. Ray will come to the left along with Mesa. And now Robinson, who was the slot right, will go slot left with Shaw in the backfield along with quarterback C.J. Tierney. Shaw will be to the right side of Tierney and then the shotgun. Start in motion. And off up the middle to Shaw. He'll dive over the top and get to the 41-yard line. Again, it's just a yard, second down, and nine. Oh, great job at Mexico linebacker number 18. Got to go to the had that read all the way. So second and nine now for the Tigers from the Bulldog 41. 9.15 to go in the first half. No score. Mason and Ray will hint come to the right side. Robinson will go without out the slot right. And Jared Nix will go wide right. Kiernan from the shotgun. Back to back. Over to the far side, going to complete it to Richard Robinson, who's going to catch it at the 30 yard line. Will be tackled at the 28 and a first down for Imperial. He was fast, but he did not want to go down. He'll jump forward at least another yard, maybe two. 13 yard gain and a first down for the Tigers. First catch for Richard tonight. Tigers with 40 or 39 yards of passing on three of six. That was on target there by CJ. It was. Uh, and like you said, Rashad just doesn't give up initially. It's not going to do it. We got a game tackle, the young man. Very strong. I wish we had 50 players like him. Yeah, what a heart. Kiernan, on the shotgun. Knocked the pass again. Has to roll out to his right. Looks for receiver downfield. Penalty flag in the middle. I think we're going to have a hole against the Tigers on this. Let's call Jonathan on this. Jonathan, yeah, I think he just texted that he had a like a hole from, <laughs> from Kansas to look like a hole. I love that. Makes me smile every time I think of it. <laughs> I just should have stayed quiet. He'd have thought I was the smartest guy in the world at football. <laughs> the 10 yard penalty against the Tigers will pull it back to about the 38 yard line. He takes the point of infraction, make it to 40. So the Tigers will have a first down. Now and 22 from the 40. Right about there. General will keep shot of the right side of him. Looks like CJ had room to run on that last one. Yeah, he did. And off on the inside to Richard. Turns to the right side. He has the line of scrimmage. So no gain. And a third down now and or second down at 22 from the 40 for Imperial. And they were kind of keying on Robinson on that play. No, he's playing. His well first is he was right there waiting for him. As soon as he goes in motion, they're bringing the outside backer, linebacker up to the line. The second and 22 for the Tigers from the Bulldog 40-yard line. 7.40 to go. Clock continues to run here in the second quarter play. No score. The game between the unbeaten Bulldogs and the once-beaten Tigers. Shaw will move to the left side of Tiernan. And in motion to the near side is Perez and back to pass. And it completed to Perez at the 40-yard line below pass, but Alejandro will pick it up. We'll get to about the 30. 
That'll be a gain of 10, but still a third down and 12 coming up for the Tigers. He's kind of shocked that you saw by himself up there. He him. It took him a while to get going again. Yeah, he was wide open on that. We'll get a score from Father Verde. Where is it playing Vincent Father Verde? Do you know? Uh, Vincent and Father Verde somewhere. I think it's in Southwest Pike. Okay. okay. Father Verde 14, Vincent 0 in the first. Modern day 14. Central zeros. Jennings gets the snap, back to pass. Looks over the middle. Has a receiver, completes to Zach Ray. will get down to the 20. That's going to be close to a first down. Looks like maybe just barely short. Just short. The backers will go for it, I'm sure. But more down and less than a yard. He threw that before he had made his cut. It was already, as soon as Zach turned, he was there and he used the prize fight. He had two wide open receivers, too. Make that 11 yard pass play. Zach Ray. That's his second catch of the night. They're showing third. We don't know how to be taking four times. Yeah, four times. Looks like we might be getting the time out. Chairman runs to the sideline, and they haven't seen where they've actually called time out. The clock continues to roll. No. So shy. I you don't want to delay a game, though. Time out. And that time out's going to be called. 626 to go in the first half. It's Tiger Zero. Hold on. Zero. El Sarape Restaurant in Imperial is 100% authentic Mexican cuisine. Their extensive menu features traditional handmade Mexican dishes with nothing but fresh ingredients. El Sarape Restaurant has taken it over the top with their creative ideas like stuffed special quesadillas with carne asada, shrimp, or pollo asada. And yes, there's something on the menu for everyone, like 17 different burritos. El Sarape Restaurant, open Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Imperial Tigers Football Association was started years ago to help the football team with much-needed equipment and sending the players to special training. Now, through their fundraising efforts from the past and now, the Imperial Tiger Association is proud of what they have accomplished and what they will continue to do in the future. They're always looking for new members. You can call Victor at 760-960-6317. That's 960-6317. If you're interested in helping out, go Tigers! I want to welcome Peg to the broadcast. Thank you listening in from Imperial. Hey, Peg. It's like I find out that she's listening. Yeah. She's a little comfort point. Do a woman then, Margaret. Fourth down and one from the 20 yard line for the Tigers. Lucky man. I am a lucky man. That's a fact. Got to that. Wonderful gal. Rez goes in motion. Hand it off up the middle to show big to hand off and here it's gonna carry it. Then pitch it out the last moment to Perez who fumbles the ball. The Tigers are gonna recover it, but I believe they're gonna have the first down barely while wow, the Bulldogs keep in without standing on that play. But I think the Tigers got enough yardage to get the first down. Uh, a little scuffle there. Yeah, a little bit. Each team pulling their own teammates away, and I like seeing that. We don't need to see any kind of extracurricular activity. Okay, so he's not short. It looks like he fits it out. And that's... Ah, they're saying we may be short on this. The referees are talking at the 20-yard line. Stopping the clock with 6.19 to go on. Big decision right here by the referees. They're going to say, no, it's let's go ball. They're going to say the Bulldogs stopped it. And you got to give them credit because they were all over on that play. There's no game. That was the first down. I just watched the replay. Oh, that he pitched it? I, I thought he got past the line and the, and the first down was right at the 20. But the referees are saying no, that he took two steps and then the ball got hit out of his hands, went forward, and Seth landed on that. Oh, it, yeah. but I have the replay right here. <laughs> the refs don't have it. The refs don't have the replay. Yeah, everything was quick, though. Yes, it was. You got to give Black to go. They did. They did. They did a great job. They kept it. From getting very long, so they take over possession of the 20 yard line first and 10. And that buddy's up the middle, gonna get a little bit of yardage up the middle and then cuts to the outside. We'll get out to about the 25 yard line. There'll be a gain of five, second down and five coming up. Yeah, you can see it's a good runner up there. Second down and five from the 25. The yeah, Campos and make that final tackle. First one to get up. That wins can stop. Maybe he's the closest person. Oh, he's got his camera. Yeah, they got the camera. 
They're just a lot. The wind is just really strong out of the southeast right now. So second down and five for the Bulldogs from the 25-yard line. They'll send three wide receivers out to the right side of the field. Or as a quarterback, inside hand up right, he's up the middle. Gets stood up by Jimenez right at the line of scrimmage. He'll twist his way to get a couple of yards out of it. But a third down and three coming up from the 27. Good job by JJ to stay home on that. He came right at him. Big hole, he slugged it up. So he's ground, isn't he? Yeah. 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 So. Softboard linebacker. Oh, he comes out in That's right, he comes to the sideline holding his left shoulder. Ooh, that's not good for the Bulldogs faithful. Keep an eye on where he's going. Ah, he's hurt. Poor guy. He's right. He is. He's taking some punishment tonight. He's thought about it. Orioles beat the Yankees two to one. No home runs for Aaron Judge. Judge, so he's just a sixty-one. Gonna be a handoff to the near side. Getting stood up and right at the line of scrimmage. And that was a good job by the Tigers. Will stop Andres Castro. Right, right on the line. For right no game. So we got a flag. We got a flag. Well, I got to see. It. Where is it at? Behind seventy-seven. A hole? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I can't see like you see. It is a hole. <laughs> good job, George. You caught it right. Good job. <laughs> uh, so a hold against Calexico. Yeah. It would be fourth down to three at the twenty-seven, or take the ten yards to move them further back. So Shaw says move them back. So they'll move back ten yards. Yeah, he's taking. Yep. That'll make it now a third down. They'll move it back to the 17 yard line. So third down and 13. For the Bulldogs. It's something with his lower arm. Either Sanders' elbow. Yeah, well, I think he's like the way he was holding his arm. I was just thinking shoulder the way he was just not moving it. You know? they're, they're working on something low. Sitting on the bench right now. He's wasting them. Tough young man, I'll tell you. I've been impressed. Back to pass the story. Gets flushed out of the pocket. He's going to pass it, but it's going to be short. And in fact, tried to get it into the running back, Andres Castro, but he was on the ground when the ball got there. It'll go incomplete. A fourth and 13 coming up. Remember the last punt didn't go very far for the Bulldogs, so the yeah. Tigers should get excellent field position on there. He got it too high. Yeah, that was Aiden Shields that made him hurry. Aiden, Aiden was having the heck of a game tonight. Not a lot of tackles, so he's crossing some habit practice. Yeah, he's seen that number of. Seven seven a lot. Looks like seven seven seven. Go next to his mom last night. Pulled yeah. down his strike zone. Punt going to be a short one yet. Not going to get very high this time. Got to bounce to the thirty eight yard line. Continues to roll for the Bulldogs across the forty five to the forty eight. And the Tigers will take over possession first and ten. And they'll be at their Colexico forty eight yard line. Good little bounce. Good little bouncer. About ten more yards. Yep, you're right. So no score in the game. Tigers got all the way down to the 20-yard line, but came away empty. And they have the ball first and 10 now at the Calexico 48-yard line with 4.05 remaining in this first half of play. Seen a good game, though. That's oh, yeah. That was yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's what I've been thinking all week. I hope it's a good close game. Yeah, I was worried. I couldn't believe these guys had to fly like they did. So having this, they work. CJ Tin, the quarterback, has shot to his right side from the shotgun. Robinson in motion. They get to Robinson. Up the middle goes Tin, and nowhere to go. And that's going to be a loss back to the 50 yard line. And the Tigers look at a second down as well. I don't know whether that was an option or not, but there was just nothing there. No, there was nothing there. In fact, it looks like he ran right at the defender. So a two-yard loss, they put it right at the midfield stripe, and the Tigers have a second down and 12 from the 15, 338 to go in the first half. And those are in the Imperial Valley League opener here at Colectico between the 5-0 and Bulldogs and the 4-1 and Tigers. I just thought of it again. I'd like to see Seth throw in motion, little pitch to him, and let him throw the ball. You want to see him? He's got a good arm. Then he gets the snap, going to pitch it back to Shaw. Shaw around the right side, there's nothing there. They get the line of scrimmage and nothing more. And the Tigers now face a third down and 12 at the 50 yard line. Wow. You know, for as many points has been put up by the Bulldogs, it's their defense has really been playing well here. Yeah. Yeah. 
bring them up. Diego Frejo and Carlos Hernandez. Great job of staying on there. Good containment. That shot, free carries, minus three yards. The last couple of games. He's been he in as soon as he got the ball. Yeah, they've been keeping a good eye on it. Clock continues to roll with 2.40 to go in the first half. Great job jamming the Tigers by the Bulldogs, for sure. Mesa, Robinson, and Ray will come to the near side. Jared Nixon to the far side. The wind to his back, along bomb to Nixon at the ninth. Kiernan, that quarterback. Get the snap. Goes back to pass. He's up. He's going to try it for Nick. He throws it too hard. Ah, Nixon's right. open deep, but he throws it way too hard. I think the wind just yeah, has so much to push out. Yeah. And the Tigers are fourth and 12 at the 50. We'll have to find. We can get it inside the 10 again. Right. 218. 218 yeah. left first half. Incredibly quick first half. Yeah. yeah. And then we started early. Yeah, we started a few minutes early, but... Seven thirty-seven, and we're a couple of minutes from the first half. Did you work tomorrow, right? Uh, no work tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Owen Yards is watching Oklahoma football. Calling Dad. Dallas will punt it, and we'll hit it the seventy-yard line. will bounce right into the end zone. Boy, that just get a roll. So the Bulldogs got the ball first to stand at their own twenty-yard line. They'll have two minutes and ten seconds to try to do something in this first half to get on board. Interested to find out what the Tigers did on defense. So I think after that first drive, then we've got them every time. They haven't done too much. Raleigh at Gila Ridge, no score, second quarter. Ooh. I tell you, you know, Gila Ridge impressed me last year. They're like they're, they're, they're a they're Russian crew team, yeah. I mean, last year we pretty well had our way with them over there. And, uh, and they struggle like to win one and nine on the year. But man, that was not the same team as we saw last week. And they stopped our running game. They did. Great job by their front line on the defensive side. Rodis is back in the lineup. He's to the left side of Torres and the shotgun. And we'll get the hand out to the right side. Has the blockers in front of him. Gets hit at the line of scrimmage. We'll get out across the 20 yard line. Ball comes out. Tigers will pick it up. Shaw, but his ball was already down. And it will be at uh, about the 25 yard line, again at five, second of five. I had noticed that he came back in. Yeah, so didn't okay. didn't look like he had any ill effects from his injury earlier. Huh? He ran hard. Too. Well, they were working on it. He was, you could see he was a thing. But the Acapulco didn't stand. Come on. Rub a little mud and, and ice on him, let it get yeah. out of there. That's it. <laughs> Stays in the backfield and looks like the Bulldogs are not ready to go. They're not sure what to play. They're going to have to call timeout. Yep. With 126 to go in the first half, it's the Bulldogs nothing, the Packers nothing. If we have home, now at 607 West Main Street in El Centro, the largest vintage and antique selection in the Valley. Over 3,000 square feet of collectibles and antiques. With a wide selection of vendors, you never know what you're going to find at Simply at Home. Come check out the other great businesses inside Simply at Home's new location, such as Lola's Essential, Wicked Ink Tattoo, All Valley Estate, and on to them. That's Simply at Home. Open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5.30, and Saturdays, 10 to 3, at 607 West Main Street in El Centro. Learning a new skill, continuing your education, or returning to school for the first time can be stressful. IBC has the resources to help you succeed by offering programs to eligible students who qualify for tuition assistance, book grants, and additional programs like IBC's Kitchen Pantry, Housing Program, Career Services Support, and so much more. Let Imperial Valley College help you become a college graduate. Visit imperial.edu slash admissions to register today. Imperial Valley College is recognized nationwide as a top 10 community college for college excellence. You got an updated score there, George? Yeah. Southwest 14, both but nothing the second. Each team looking for their first win of the season. Game being played over in Yuma. At Copa High School, the first place I ever announced the ball game from. IBC and Arizona Western back in 1970. Wow. Damn, boy. I was doing I think I was junior. I thought if you say kindergarten, that's going to go over the middle, it's going to go incomplete. And the Bulldogs will have a third down and five. Good job by Zach Gray. Great, great coverage there. <laughs> yeah, that would have been completed. There would have been no gain anyway. So, yeah, good and after Torrey has completed his first pass for five yards, he's got over four steps. And going into a hard win. 
Tigers will get the football in the second half as well. 122, clock stopped up to a complete pass. Third down and five, Bulldogs from their own 25. Whereas as Conchola in motion will get the hand off on the left side. Tries turning the corner. Going to be hit right at the line of scrimmage and drop. Uh, J.J. Kim coming out in a minute. Nice tackle. Did you see Sean Cook show went out there? Coach came out right away. He wants the ball back. Right. But you're going to run against the wind with a minute 14 to go. Got time to get down there. So good, good job of getting out there for Coach Shaw. You got a timeout? It's going to be actually a loss of a yard on the play. So with a minute 14 to go, time is stopped. No score. Bulldogs zero, Tigers zero. Start that day off right with your favorite drink from Brickhouse Coffee. Next door to Brickhouse Deli at the Lisa Tucker Center in Imperial. Brickhouse Coffee has so many drinks to choose from. Hot drinks, blended drinks, or cold drinks, including the best tea in the valley with different flavors. Open daily with a convenient drive through And next door, Brickhouse Deli with big, full, fresh flavors. The Valley's premier deli. Serving breakfast down one. So come visit the boat at the Lisa Tucker Center on West Aiton Road in Imperial. For over 60 years, the Imperial Quarterback Club has supported all sports teams at Imperial High School. The money they raise goes a long way, keeping our kids busy with school activities. Members are parents and community people who care and want to donate their time. If you would like to become a member, call Betty or Larry Zinn at 760-355-1312. That's 760-355-1312. That's quarterback club, which is the Imperial Tigers, a great season. Go Tigers! That back to Martinez is really high, but he's able to bring it down and get the punt off, but it's not going to go very far. It is the 45-yard line, take a bulldog bounce into Tiger territory, and down to the 47. So the Tigers have a minute and one to try to get some points on the board. And a first down of the road, 47. And there's nobody back on if you notice that. He took off pretty quick. I used that when I saw the snap. Yeah, so that's why that old that goes over his head. That could get back into the end zone for possible safety. Or that's 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 we get that. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was. Great job at the punter. Yeah. Um, pulled that down. Martinez did a good job on that. And really, against the wind, a really good punt. <laughs> So the Tigers the ball first and ten, their own 47-yard line, a minute remaining in this first half. With the wind behind their back. Two wide receivers going on each side of the field. Jim in the backfield, in the pistol, with Shaw behind him. Jim still waiting for the staff, gets to go back to back. That's up. Looks over to the far side, floats one up there for Nixon. Couldn't quite come down. He's double covered. That kind of knocked away at the 35 yard line. I thought he had a basket catcher. Double covered, though. So that's uh, yeah. That's real well covered. Got the yeah, no, it was it was close. Right by the end. So second and ten. Stopping the clock with 51 seconds to go in this first half of play. Bulldogs zero, Tigers zero. Imperial Valley League opener for 2022. The offensive line switches sides, so let's go to the right, vice versa. Ray will go wide right along with Perez, and now Mesa will also go wide right, and Nix will be the lone run back or lone receiver to the near side. From the pistol once again, Jenna gets the snap, goes back to pass, look over the middle, looking for Nix and jumps up, oh, in and out of his hands, I thought he had it. But going to be tipped away at the last moment by Ismail Burgess. Get it back, man. And a flag at the initial line of scrimmage. Nothing to pass her? Great. Just see after the play, but it could be, or it could be a hold. A hold, yeah, holding a hold. Back. So, Finley, Tigers, a 3 2 holding call against the Tiger offensive line. That's going to go from the point of infraction, so it'll put it back to the 34 yard line. So it's a third down now and 23 from the 34. They get second down, I'm sorry, second down and 23. But 46 seconds, 45 seconds to go in the first half. We lost six more seconds. They do. Rashad Robinson be the lone running back behind Kiernan under center. Kiernan and it off to Rashad. He's going to be hit immediately. They're kind of waiting for it. And going nowhere, defensively coming up big, Diego Garola. And there'll be no gain. In fact, 
maybe in the loss of a yard, and a third down now and 24 from the 33. Yeah, I think CJ was trying to pull that one back, and he kept the oh, shot. Yeah. He couldn't get away from the shot. You know, time out for Lexical, and now they want the opportunity. So with 35 seconds going to the first half, Tiger zero, Bulldogs zero. Have you been wanting new flooring but putting it off? Don't wait anymore. Dermot Floor Covering has the flooring you want at blowout prices. Yes, I mean blowout prices. Hardwood plank, regularly priced nine ninety nine a square yard, now three ninety nine a square yard, and over eleven hundred square feet in stock. Select tiles, regularly priced five ninety nine to six forty nine a square foot, now on sale at a dollar thirty four to a dollar ninety nine a square foot. Stop by Dermot Floor Covering today, two twenty North State Street, Imperial. Your flooring wishes can come true. At Derma's War Covering. Wake up with Pocchio Cafe. Open daily at 7 a.m. Serving your favorite breakfast. From omelets, pancakes, eggs, benedict, waffles, and yes, Mexican breakfast too. Pocchio Cafe serves lunch till 2 p.m. From sandwiches, salads, and yes, of course, the all-American cheeseburger. Pocchio Cafe thanks you for voting us the best breakfast in town. Once again, you can order online at Pocchio Cafe El Centro or call 760-352-9655. So the Tigers with a third down and 24 from their own 33 yard line. That's one more play if they can't get some good yardage out of this, they're going to need to find and get away from the goal line. Tell me if time out on that. I thought it was fourth down. No doubt no, this is fourth. That should be a quick pitch out to the right side to David Meza. Straight arm at the line of scrimmage. He's going to be twisted, thrown out of bounds at the 40 yard line after a gain of seven, but a fourth down. And 19 for the Tigers from the 40. Stopping the clock with 17 seconds to go, and the Tigers are fourth down along with the five. One now, run one more play. Go with D. Hail Mary. The Tigers are going to call timeout, so with yep, it's going to run the clock out. So that'll be it. That'll be the end of the first half of play. It's been a tough one, but no points on the board. At halftime here in Collectico, the Tigers zero, the Bulldogs zero, and we'll be back to recap the stats for you in just a moment. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here at Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year, PO box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970 970- Bo and his team of employees at Sam's Auto Body are constantly striving on giving you 100% satisfaction on getting your vehicle prepared and fixed right. Sam's Auto Body is grateful for the support they hear from the job they're doing and being highly rated with CarWise.com. Yes, accidents are deserving and Sam's Auto Body is here for you to keep the pain and fix your vehicle as fast as possible. Stop by at 18 days West Euclid Avenue in El Centro. El Sorape Restaurant in Imperial is 100% authentic Mexican cuisine. Their extensive menu features traditional handmade Mexican dishes with nothing but fresh ingredients. El Sorape Restaurant has taken it over the top with their creative ideas like stuffed special quesadillas with carne asada, shrimp, or pollo asada. And yes, there's something on the menu for everyone, like 17 different burritos. El Sorape Restaurant, open Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Half-time score here in Classico, the Bulldogs zero, the Tigers zero. Not a whole lot of the yardage for either of the two. It's been a big defensive struggle, as the scoreboard indicates. D.J. Jernan has completed five of nine passes for 60 yards. Two of those were to Zach Gray for 18 yards, one for 19 yards to Devin Meza, one of 13 yards to Richard Robinson, and one of 10 yards to Alonzo Perez. And then rushing... Robinson leads the rushers, five carries, 33 yards. And then Mesa, one carry for seven. Shaw, three carries for minus three. Tiernan, two for minus two. So the Tigers, 35 yards rushing and 60 yards passing for 35 or for 95 yards of offense for the first half. We moved the ball a little bit, but then the Bulldogs' defense would come up tough. For the Bulldogs in the first half, they would complete one of five passes for five yards, and that would go to Benjamin Rodriguez. Then rushing, it's mostly Zeus Brody, 11 carries, 45 yards. Andres Castro, a couple of carries for six yards. And then Frankie Loera Rodriguez, two carries for five yards. So a total of 46 yards of rushing, five yards passing, 51 yards. That's it for Clexico. 
the job by both defenses. Yeah, deep is the big defensive struggle. Like I said, as the scoreboard indicates, there's a couple of goose eggs on each side of it. That's been about it in those first half. You know, we came into this game saying that the Tigers had a 15-game win streak against Colectico. I'm going to throw some old names at you in a moment. You ready for it? All right, we'll do it as soon as these commercial messages. We'll be back to talk about how the Tigers have got a 15-game win streak against these Bulldogs. Stay with us. We've got some names coming up from the past. El Zarape Restaurant in Imperial is 100% authentic Mexican cuisine. Their extensive menu features traditional handmade Mexican dishes with nothing but fresh ingredients. El Zarape Restaurant has taken it over the top with their creative ideas like stuffed special quesadillas with carne asada, shrimp, or pollo asada. And yes, there's something on the menu for everyone, like 17 different burritos. El Zarape Restaurant, open Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Imperial Tiger Football Association was started years ago to help the football team with much-needed equipment and sending the players to special training. Now, through their fundraising efforts from the past and now, the Imperial Tiger Association is proud of what they have accomplished and what they will continue to do in the future. They're always looking for new members. You can call Victor at 760-960-6317. That's 960 if you're interested in helping out. Go Tigers! Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck, yes. That'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in California. Because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. You know, Jordan, that's the, one of the things that we've seen throughout this year is the, the shortage of referees. We saw it last year, and it's just it's gotten worse this year. I like the commercial one of them. I was like the kid from the past. If you don't have the stripes, you can't have the stars. <laughs> so we need to have more referees out there. And, you know, we, we had a Thursday night game last week. We had a Saturday night game at Valley Center. And we have a Thursday night game coming this week. With They've homecoming. moved homecoming to Thursday night. Absolutely. First time I've ever heard that. Yeah. So Imperial will host Holville for homecoming on Thursday night, and we will be on for that one uh, Thursday, so make sure you're there with us. Got some updated scores before we look at the past. Yeah, the updated score we got was Raleigh 7, Vila Ridge nothing in the second. Uh, Father's Day 21, Central nothing at half. And Palo Verde 21, Vincent 0 also. And I think that's it. Okay. Oh, South Wales, South West, 14. 14. Yeah. Copa has really struggled. They got a new brand new coach. I think this is his first game, in fact. They've already swatched in that for two games. But I think they've lost 38 games in a row. And so, so both teams coming in without a win. Hopefully this new coach can get things going. Because both you and I remember, Copa used to be a power. They were a power back in the 70s. And you'd like to see them get back to what they were. You know, closer to what they were than they have been hit. Uh, before we also look at the defensive stats, because it's been a defensive game oh, okay. for both teams. I was just looking at that. Yeah. Steph, South, free safety. It's leading off tackers with five, and then I have Pablo Moreno and Joel Villacampo seats with four. J.J. Jimenez, Zach Ray, and Angel Barone with three. There's another quarterback, Angel. So that's not good. Ethan Reeves with two. Then we have Max Alvarez. Josepo Daca and Aiden Shields with 20. Oh, now seven and a half. Big defensive struggle here. It's a 0-0 halftime score of the Bulldogs and the Tigers. And as we mentioned, the Tigers have been fortunate enough to have a 15-game win streak against Colectico coming in tonight. It began back in 2007. The Tigers at home against Colectico won 21-8. The next year was close here in Colectico, 16-13. Caleb Hogue. Whoa, Caleb. Caleb, Good nine run. carries, 145 yards rushing in that, wow. I believe, the Tigers. The next year, the Tigers joined the IVL in 2009, came away with a 55-6 to win. Justin Espinosa threw TDs to Christian Torres and Clinton Lycos, the names wow. we haven't heard in a while, and then rushed for three more TDs on five of 145 for Justin. Yeah. The Tigers, Preston Blinko, eight carries, 132 yards rushing, Two more TDs, and the Torres added two interceptions to lead the defense. Then in 2010, the Tigers won at 41 to seven here in Colectico. Austin Ortega oh. threw for three touchdowns in that game. Two to Clinton Lycos, one to Marcelo Smith. 
Yeah, to lead the Tigers. Dustin Blanco scored three times on 15 of 111 rushing. Blake Davis recovered a fumble and had an interception to face the defense. Then it was the uh, Royce Freeman, Chris Carter uh, gang in 2011 at Imperial. Final score 49 to 7. Royce goes nine carries, 150 yards, four touchdowns. Quinn Lycos rushed for 110 on five carries, and Chris Carter throws two touchdowns for the Tigers. And we came to Calexico, pretty much the same, 48 to 7 that time. Royce had a monster game, 14 carries, 236 yards, wow. and five touchdowns. D. John Wilson, remember him? Yeah. Got just two passes for 52 yards on the TV. And then in 2013, that was a big night for Royce. Uh, 49 to 14, the Tigers won it. Chris Carter completes 7 of 8 for 107 yards and four touchdowns for the Tigers. Austin Smith scored three of those. Dejon Dayton had two TD receptions for the Tigers, but it was Royce Freeman night because that was the night that he broke the record for San Diego section CIF and rushing. Oh. Remember that night? It was an imperial. He rushed just 11 times, 136 yards, pair of touchdowns, played just the first half. Carroll held 42 to nothing, made it the intermission. But uh, Freeman would have, uh, I think it was a nine yard gain. I remember going to the right of us and scoring the touchdown, which uh, then put him into the number one spot all time rushing in San Diego section. CIF. At that point, against the Bulldogs in three games, he carried 34 times for 522 yards. Wow. And 11 touchdowns in his career against the Bulldogs. And in that game, that, that rush that put him over the top, that would give him at that point uh, 6,779 yards. His 102 touchdowns were just three from former Heisman Trophy winner Rashawn Salam. So that was through the Royce Freeman era. Then we come to 2014, and we'll look at 2014 on as we continue with our halftime in a moment. Score, Tigers 0 and the Bulldogs 0. If we add home, now at 607 West Main Street in El Centro, the largest vintage and antique selection in the valley. Over 3,000 square feet of collectibles and antiques. With a wide selection of vendors, you never know what you're going to find at Simply at Home. Come check out the other great businesses inside Simply at Home's new location, such as Lola's Essentials, Wicked Eat Tattoo, All Valley Estate, and on to them. That's Simply at Home, open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 530, and Saturdays, 10 to 3, at 607 West Main Street in El Centro. Learning a new skill, continuing your education, or returning to school for the first time can be stressful. IVC has the resources to help you succeed by offering programs to eligible students who qualify for tuition assistance, book grants, and additional programs like IVC's Kitchen Pantry, Housing Program, Career Services Support, and so much more. Let Imperial Valley College help you become a college graduate. Visit imperial.edu slash admissions to register today. Imperial Valley College is recognized nationwide as a top 10 community college for college excellence. Back at halftime here in Calexico, Mickey Dale along with George Grahal on KXORadio.com and also on YouTube channel with a score at halftime 0-0, zero, zero, the Tigers and the Bulldogs. Tigers went from a rushing team to a passing team. As, soon as, as Royce left in the 2014, the Bureau went 55-0. to nothing. But the Tigers turned to the air game as Aaron Bonilla That's completed good 22, good 22, good 22, good 22 of 28 for 376 yeah. yards and seven touchdowns to lead Imperial. Joey Keck caught five of those, with Carlos Villanueva and Savon Lewis adding a touchdown reception each. And then Marco Miranda had a pair of interceptions and a fumble recovery to lead the Tigers' defense. 2015 at Imperial, 57-8, to eight, Tigers win it. Aaron Bonilla, perfect. 19 of 19. Ooh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. 231 yards, four touchdowns led the Tigers. David Savage, Oh, injury, God, injury that. set him short. But God. wow, what an outstanding athlete David was! He had three of those for touchdowns, and Raymond Beeman had the other. Tigers cleared the bench. They had twenty-one different players in on tackle. <laughs> twenty-one different players. That's kind of cool. In twenty sixteen, the Tigers would win at twenty-nine to thirteen. Now this is a game that was interesting, and you remember we were sitting over on the other side because they were replacing the bleachers here. And the Bulldogs were fired up in front of their home crowd. They had a 5-0 and record, just like tonight. Ranked number one in Division Five under first-year head coach. John Tyree. John Tyree, former Imperial coach. It was a different class coach team that, we, that had been beaten by a combined score of 354-49 to in the previous seven games. Tigers led just 15-7 to at the half before scoring the 16-point win. Central transfer quarterback Pete Sanchez, his first start for Imperial. Three for 207 yards and three touchdowns. 
Two to Santiago de la Torre, one to Raymond Beeman, while Brandon Bledsoe added a touchdown on 17 carries and 116 yards rushing for the Tigers. In 2017, the Tigers would win a 58 to nothing in Imperial. Celebrating homecoming with a big win, Joseph Durango and Wyatt Rodriguez combined to complete 14 of 15 for 217 and five touchdowns for Imperial. Joey Ramos got three of those for TDs, while De La Torre and Aaron Moreno caught the other two scores. Sergio Serrano, remember he had a lot back. De La Torre, too, that's yeah. a great back to his memory. It does, that's it. Sergio led the rushers with 77 yards for the TD. The defense forced nine turnovers, with Santos Alvarez picking off a pair of the five interceptions the team posted. Then in 2018, Imperial 42, Colexico 0 here in Colexico. Santiago De La Torre tried his hand at quarterback, completed 10 of 12 for 129 yards, and a pair of touchdowns for Imperial. Joey Ramos got 10 of passes for 116 of them, one for a touchdown. And Nathan Hart, Nathan Hart would have 20 carries, 164 yards, and a pair of TDs in that one. And then in 2019, the Tigers would win at 47-0. That was in Imperial. Jordan Reed completed 12 of 17 for 224 yards and three touchdowns to lead the Tigers. Britton Adams, four catches for 117 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Joey Ramos took a low snap, I remember. Well, back to punt. And took it all the way. 92 yards. All you remember way, it. Yeah. You remember it. 2012, or 2020, the teams weren't complete. Tigers won the game, um, and that would be a 14th win in a row. And then last year, an inspired Bulldog team, as we mentioned earlier, made this in a close one. The closest since 2008. Freshman Reese Vendiola, 9 of 12 passing for 114 yards and a touchdown to Dominic Suarez. And Pablo Moreno's scoop of a fumble and 62-yard run. That was the only TDs for the Tigers in that one. So it's some fun and, uh, and neat the memories of this rivalry that goes back way before us. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. And, yeah. We're and we were part of it. And we were talking about, and I'll let you say his last name because I always <laughs> mess it up. <laughs> the Hidalgo brothers. Exactly. Jose Luis and the Pete. Yeah. And well, they get Pete. Right. And, and Louis Montano, a quarterback, lefty that. He had a rifle for an arm and was an outstanding wrestler to boot. He's all the famer, in fact, in wrestling. And, and so uh, we couldn't pick out individual plays as we were driving down. But it was like, man, those guys were bad. Yeah. They were bad. Always, always bad. They always had right. somebody real fast. Oh. And they were in a gunner in basketball. They always had a gunner yep. to the field. Yep. So we're about ready for the second half. The Quexico Bulldogs will be kicking off to the Tigers. They'll be going into the wind. So the Bulldogs will have the wind of their back in the fourth quarter. Deep to receive for the Tigers, Richard Robinson will be the lone back, and he'll be at the five-yard line. I'm sure the ball will get that far. And this wind is really blowing hard right into the face of the kicker, Luis Martinez, for the Bulldogs. He did get a good kick off the first half, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Well, he, yes, he's got some punts off with his first kickoff, which we kicked off the start. There's been no score. So oh, this was his right. first one, yeah. He, he did have a couple of good punts that were into the wind that were really difficult to make. But he was able to manage those. So we'll see how he does with a low liner kickoff. He's I've seen the kickoff that went up higher than 13. Maybe it was last week. So that was one that. Oh, it's, it's going to be a pooch kick. Tigers are going to catch it by the 30 yard line. The 34 yard line, and it'll be stacked up and brought down there at the 34. All right, don't have anything afterwards. A lot of jawing out there. The Tigers of the football, first and 10. They'll have it at their own 34-yard line to begin the second half. Looks like the same players are coming out for the Tigers. I don't see anybody new out there. Kevin Mazer will come wide to the left side along with Zach Gray. Alejandro Perez will be in the slot right with Jared Nixon. So we'd like to see those wheels get going on him. Yes. Wind to the back for the Tigers in this half. Tier of this quarter. Tiernan will be at the quarterback position. He has that shot to his right side from the shotgun. And back to pass Tiernan. Going to throw it short. Going to complete it to Perez, who's hit immediately and brought by Burgess. After a gain of just a yard. And it just took too long to develop this. No, it did. And Burton's right there. Good, good coverage by the Bulldogs. 
I just noticed on this side they have double coverage on Nixon. Yeah, yeah that doesn't surprise me. That's a smart move, right there. But I think a little post, and everybody to the right, and then him going the post line, I think he could outrun the things. Lays will come again to the near side, along with Ray. They're going from the south to the north, from right to left. Press stays on the far side slot with Nixon to the wide receiver. Jernan from the shotgun, back to pass. Sets up in the box, going to throw deep. As Lays a little bit short, Chuck is going to bounce off the hand of the defender, Andrew Rivera, back to the 35-yard line of the Bulldog, and the Tigers facing a third down and nine from number 35. I like that right there. I like what they did, though. That's going to open it up a little bit for them. Okay, I see Sean went off by the receiver. Sean come back in, though. Yeah, I don't see him. He's on the far there. Yep, yeah, he's in there. So Robinson will come into the backfield along with Tiernan and now will be to the left side of it from the shotgun. And the Tigers will have three wide receivers to the near side as Perez will come along with Mesa and with Ray back to pass Tiernan. Going to look over. He's going to have a receiver oh, in and out of the hands of Perez. All by himself. All by himself. It would have been a little short of the first down if he went down there, but I believe if it was a good pass, he would have got the first down past the 44. Oh. But incomplete, the Tigers left the pump. Bring it out. I like the overthrow because usually he's young, short. So I do like the overthrow. Yeah, he's open too. He was all by himself. All by himself. First receiver went to the sideline, the other one went deep, and he was all by himself. Oh, good kid. Beautiful kid. Good punt that's going to land at the 18 yard line and just die at the 15. Now starts to take a tiger bounce to the 11. Wow, how long is that punt going to be? There's a penalty. It's going to be on number 50. Wow. They're trying. If that's against the Tigers, I'd be really upset if I was a coaching staff because here you got a punt that's yeah. going to go, let's see, 15, 65 yards, you know, 40, 15, 55 yards, and then you may get some of the nullified from a silly penalty. Yeah, but it started on the kickoff. He went after the kicker and... So they're going to put it down at the 11, but it's going to be a penalty for us to against the Tigers. That kind of stuff is just 8 to feet. That's so simple. So now instead of getting them backed up to their own 11 yard line, you're giving them room to breathe. And for what reason? Yeah. You know? Not no, just small just around. Oh, around. Not even just get away from it. Leave it alone. Okay. Let it roll down there for a wonderful punt. You've got their office for their first. Drive in the second half, backed up to the goal line almost at the 11. Now they're going to have a ball to 26 and a first down. That just is not smart at no. all. The coaches went after it, too. I sure hope so, because that's not smart at all. So, Craig scored the ball first and 10. They have the ball through a 26 yard line. Their first possession of the second half. No score here, quite the goal. Good crowd from Imperial Rover, which had Ruger Buses. It was awesome. I did. First time we've seen Ruger buses that we can remember in a while. Man goes in motion. Control the hand up the middle front. He's big hole. He's going to get across the 30 yard line to the 35. It'll be a gain of nine, second and one. Wow. Yeah, Capo make the first initial hit. Nope, they're going to give him a 10 yard gain of first down. They're going to mark it at the 36. 56. Reeves. You know, you have penalties like that. I don't want to harp on them. But those things can change momentum. They can be momentum changers for no reason. And in motion, penalty flag goes down. May see some motion on the bulldog. It is. A five yard penalty will bring him back. I also want them to pass. This is good right here. They want to throw against the wind. Make it a little bit tougher for them. So make it a first and 15. I'll bring it back to the Bulldog 31 yard line. That was a big hole over the right side of the last one. Wow, huge. Two wide receivers have come to the near side of the field for the Bulldogs. Marco Escare and Benjamin Rodriguez. 
But he's just in the backfield to the right side this time. The Torres man in motion, Cachola. He gets the hand off around the right side. There's Tigers there. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard. It'll be a second down. And 14 from the 32. Beautiful read by Seth Shaman. And then Aiden Shields helped him out to bring him down hard. Came out back away. Aiden came up, bumped up after that. Well, we keep it going. Maybe get an extra yard out to the 33, so gain a two for Conchola. First carry of the night. So second down and 13 from the 33. So it's left handed quarterback. Waiting for Conchola to move, and it's going to be another motion penalty against the Bulldogs. Just uncertain of what they're wanting to do, and a uh, quarterback is looking at one of the running backs who I think was supposed to go in motion, and then when he moved a little bit and someone else moved, he had two minutes. And that five yard penalty on the hit is second down and 18, and bring it back to the 28 yard line. So we got the penalty yards back, right? We still. So it's 15 yards then, never mind. Yeah. It's only 10. So we got that. <laughs> and a motion cut to it. And out the other way. Oh, he's the fumble. Oh, oh. up by the Tigers. In the air, he's, he's going to go to the five. Touchdown. We're Imperial and coming up with the fumble touchdown. Yeah. Ethan, Ethan Reeves, and boy, he played a great game last week. He picks the ball up out of the air, runs the rest away for the touchdown, and the Imperial leads it six to nothing. He never got the ball. He never got the ball. He's definitely, and then he tips it up himself. Right to Ethan. And for Ethan, that's his second fumble recovery of the year. This one goes for his first touchdown in his career. And the Tigers lead it. It's going to be about a 25-yard, I think, fumble recovery for touchdown. It was in the backfield. Yeah, it was. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Woo. They stayed in a hurry right there. We needed that fast. That's it. Well, we could open that up. being in a perfect spot at oh, a perfect yeah. time. Yeah. If that was come in for the extra point attempt, carrying it on the hole. Ball is down. Kick is up. Looks good. Represent and the deal is good. Eight forty two to go in this third quarter play. It's the Tiger seven, the Bulldogs zero. Start that day off right with your favorite drink from Brick House Coffee. Next door to Brick House Deli at the Lisa Tucker Center in Imperial. Brick House Coffee has so many drinks to choose from. Hot drinks, blended drinks, or cold drinks, including the best tea in the valley with different flavors. Open daily with a convenient drive through And next door, Brick House Deli with big, full, fresh flavors. The Valley's premier deli, serving breakfast and lunch. So, come visit the boat at the Leisha Tucker Center on West Aiton Road in Imperial. Your favorite NFL team plays on Imperial Valley's AM 1230, KXOL Central. We've been harping about the defense this entire game for the Tigers. Ethan Reeves comes up with a 25-yard Fumble recovery and fumbles in for the touchdown. We can solve his extra point. The Tigers lead at 7 0 with 8.42 to go in the third quarter play. Wow. How's that? Yeah, Good. Like you said, you feel bad for the running back who never got the ball and just popped up in the air and the knee was right there. This could be touchback time easy for Gonzalez. This is 11th touchback of the season, and the Bulldogs will have the ball before their own 20 yard line. Yeah, last yep. week Ethan had, had uh, the block punt that ended yeah. up being a, a safety in last week's game and just played an outstanding game and already coming up with a big one tonight. So it's got to get you checked out. Oh, as we mentioned yeah. last week, for, for those of you from Imperial High School back in the 70s, that's Wes Reed's grandson. It's for that touchdown. Yes, sir. From the class of 76, where Rick Sharp's listening in from the Gulf. Everything's going well for you back there, right? Oh, there's a lot right. of wind yeah. and stuff. Hopefully, it's get too much rain. Yeah. And goes in motion. And off Brody's up the middle. He gets in hard. And brought down. After about a three yard gain, let's see where we're going to mark it at. It'll be a three yard gain to the 23. And it'll be a second down and seven. Aiden Shields is back to Alvarez to find for the tackle for the Tigers. Big hit. So I think it's initiated by the running back. 
It's a tough one. Oh, man, look at that. He, he looks like an apple. So he's got that very red. Yeah. Troy has back to pass. Pass is off on the left side of the open. Getting the pass. It's getting some yardage on it. May have a first down out of it. The receiver is Frankie Loero Rodriguez. And it looks like he does have the first down to the 30 yard line. And a first down for the Bulldogs. I thought it was a penalty side, but I think it's a, a rag or something. It's a rag, yeah, yeah, it's a rag. So a little quick little bubble screen from Torres. So the way I was, he's good. Oh, David Manson has tripped him up. Who's in for Seth Sean. I see Sean holding his arm and look back when he's going out on the stumper recovery. And up right east up the middle, kind of tiptoes his way out across the 35-yard line. Out to about the 38. Good gain on the play of eight yards. And a second down and two coming up. That Ray, David Bessa. But he's leading all ball carriers with 66 yards on 14 carries in the game. Second down and two from the 38. Control in motion. The standoff. Pitch to cut show around the left side. There's Tigers all around there. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Face mask on him. He went to the base on, on Pablo Moreno. With the tip on. So the stop is going to be at the 35, who may have a face mask call against the Tigers. No, no. His, uh, I think oh, it was the, the back okay. okay, okay. Well, that's what I think. Let's see what else. Let's say hi to him. The referee's talking it over right now, over near the Imperial bench, and yelling over to Coach Shaw. To be a hold call against Calexico. So that'll move him back 10 yards. That was a great read by Pablo Moreno right there. He's seen that all the way. Stay put. They had the play action to the right, play went to the left, and he stayed put. He was smart, yeah. So he's going to put him back to the 24 yard line. And it's going to make it a third down now and 16 from the 24. Second down, I'm sorry. It should be second down. Second down and 16 from the 24. Back to pass Torres. A lot of rush there. Zach. It's a Zach. Reeves is in on there. I'll give it to Ethan. Yeah. Ethan makes the first tip. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Also back there. There's nothing but white jerseys facing the poor quarterback Torres. And that Zach's going to bring them all the way back inside the 20 to the 18. Uh, lots of six. And a third down at 22 from their own 18 yard line. Can you imagine those two boys coming at you? No. And all by yourself. No. How lonely you would feel. That'd be a already. So a third down at 22 for the Bulldogs from their own 18. And if the Tigers stop, they're coming against the wind, remember. Oh, that's right. Or is the quarterback left right east to his right side, staying in the shotgun. It's the snap back to pass. It'll look on the far side. And a pass that has a receiver tipped away by the Tigers at the last moment coming up for the tip. Victor's on his way back. I want to try come up with it. Boy, when uh, he was open, too. When Loretta Rodriguez made his cut, I looked over like he is open. He's open. Yeah, the last one. Back with it. Decline? No, it's going to be a hold against them. They'll decline it. Tigers will decline that, I'm sure. Well, then. They're declining. I'm making fourth down and 22 from the 18th. Boy, this is a chance that Martinez has to really get off this time now. Seth's coming back in to receive it. Yeah, great defensive tip in the defensive backfield there for the Tigers. Yeah, he, he throws in quick. I'm sorry. Is the kid was wide open. Oh, yeah. I did. He came back. Of course, he's also throwing against the wind. Yeah. You know, you get a little bit of air in it. You can lift it up a little bit. So, Martinez will be kicking off from inside his 10-yard line. It's a good snap. And it's on the side of his foot. Tigers get away from it. Let it go out of bounds to the 33-yard line. And it still has outstanding field position at the 33 for Calexico, first and 10. Going to be a 15 yard punt. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, they right the out the wind and went right off the left side of the foot. Came right at us. Came right at us. Indoor wind. Forward. 
The bill was about to collect a bill 33, first and 10, with 534 to go in the third quarter and the wind to their back. Yeah, we got an update here. We got Southwest 21, Copa 6. That's that? Uh, 35 for Palo Verde, 14 for Vincent. That hasn't changed. That's it. Nothing's changed. Rashad Robinson in the backfield for the Tigers. They'll go under center with Tiernan now. And go to the slot on both sides of the field. And it goes in motion, Mesa. And it off Rashad over the right side. Runs into some garnet jerseys right there. He does get a yard out of it, but that's about it. It'll be a second down and nine from the 32. Uh, you gotta get him out. That's the same one. They've got the penalty here, dear. Gotta get him out. For Imperial? Yeah. I sit him on the bench and yep. say, if you want to play, you can get him out. You keep yeah. him out. Yeah. yeah. You, got, you can't have that again. You got away with it once. You cannot yeah. get away with it another time. So I don't know why he's in there. He's not normally in there. Something must be on the sideline. I don't see anybody on the bench. So second down and nine for the Tigers from the 32. Under five minutes here in the third quarter to go with Imperial leading at 7-0. to zero. Rashad Robinson will stay the lone running back behind Tiernan. Tigers will have three wide receivers to the right side of the field. Tiernan under center. Looks over the defense. Takes the sack. Hands it off to Rashad over the right side. He'll get to the 30-yard line for a gain of a couple. But a third down and seven coming up for the Tigers at the 30. But just up in there. Somebody's coming up. Slow there. Hold on. Yeah, he's a little woozy when he's at yeah, 58. He's gonna the, the, the rest have called Yeah, the rest is going to call timeout. One of the Tigers got out really woozy. He's still, he's still shaking yeah. out. Yeah, just gets down. He was, yeah, as he's 58. And I'm here as I see, but he was staggering as he was walking back. And the referees quickly got in there and, uh, and called timeout. So with timeout on the field, 4-11 to go in the third quarter. It's Imperial 7, Calexico 0. For over 60 years, the Imperial Quarterback Club has supported all sports teams at Imperial High School. The money they raise goes a long way, keeping our kids busy with school activities. Members are parents and community people who care and want to donate their time. If you would like to become a member, call Betty or Larry Zinn at 760-355-1312. That's 760-355-1312. The Quarterback Club, which is the Imperial Tigers, a great season. Go Tigers! Have you been wanting new flooring but putting it off? Don't wait anymore. Derma Floor Covering has the flooring you want at Blowout Prices. Yes, I mean Blowout Prices. Hardwood plank, regularly priced $9.99 a square yard, now $3.99 a square yard, and over 1,100 square feet in stock. Select tiles, regularly priced $5.99 to $6.49 a square foot, now on sale at $1.34 to $1.99 a square foot. Stop by Derma's Floor Covering today, 220 North State Street Material. Your flooring wishes can come true. At Germa's War Covering. Good news that Gastelum was able to move onto the side of the field. A little bit of help, but he did make it on his own over the side, so hopefully it's not a serious injury. One of Ugly Elder, our Eastern Time Zone representative for a supply from college ball scores for us. And although San Diego State was looking good early, it's now Boise State 35, San Diego State 13. And after one quarter, UCLA leads Washington, who's unbeaten at this point, 9 to 7. Oh! So the Broom both teams are on the feet at this point. The Washington's got a good team. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And time, Tigers are going to call a timeout. So Tigers with a timeout. 3.54 to go in the third quarter. Imperial 7, Calexico to 0. Wake up with Procio Cafe. Open daily at 7 a.m. Serving your favorite breakfast. From omelets, pancakes, eggs, benedict, waffles, and yes, Mexican breakfast too. Procio Cafe serves lunch till 2 p.m. From sandwiches, salads, and yes, of course, the all-American cheeseburger. Procio Cafe thanks you for voting us the best breakfast in town. Once again, you can order online at Procio Cafe El Centro or call 760-352-9655. 
Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here at Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year, PO box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970 970- 4,500. Big third down for the Tigers, third and seven from the Bulldogs, 30-yard line. That shot comes back into the lineup for Imperial. As Robinson will go to the sideline. Two wide receivers deep side of the field for Imperial. Well, he'll go back to the shotgun. Kiernan throws something over to the Imperial bench and then yells it over to his line as a wind behind his back. Stiff wind out of the southeast. The Tigers taking their time. Now Shaw moves to the right side, to the left of Tiernan, and gets the handoff. Up the middle, he's got some room to run. He's at the 20-yard line, continues on his feet to the 15, and that's where it'll end at the 15-yard line. A big gainer up the middle off a left tackle by Seth Shaw. He's too fast. <laughs> I forgot to turn on my mic. He got there. He finally hit that home. Right. I like the, the, the way they're out of both there. So 10-yard gain is longest of the night. In fact, longest of the last three games. That's wow, now. Yeah. So now he's getting yeah, he hanged up. The so big first down. He only had five carries last week for yeah. like 10 yards, I think you said. Right. And then the Calabria, they had him all set up there, there, too. Yeah. First and 10 for the Tigers at the 20-yard line of the Bulldogs. The big 10-yard gain on third down and seven by Seth Shaw. He'll stay in the lineup. He'll be on the left side of cheering it again. Ray and Mesa wide right. Nixon and Perez wide to the left. Perez will go in motion to the far side. Turn and gets the snap. Goes back to pass. Looks over the middle. As a receiver, Touchdown. Zach Ray. Touchdown, Imperial. Yeah. Zach Ray on the post pattern to the middle. And the Tigers lead at 13 0. That's all he did, too. That's all he did. Middle post. Oh, that's right. There's some yellow spot on the, in, in the end zone. Mm hmm. You know, yeah, I do, right? In front of the goal post, yeah. yeah. I thought it was a flag. Great Zach, middle. Yeah, go ahead. Great middle pass there. First touchdown catch of the year for Zach Ray. Ethan Gonzalez for the extra point. Ball is down, kick is up. And it is good. Good. With 2.58 to go in the third quarter play, it's now the Tigers 14, the Bulldogs 0. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here at Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year, PO box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970-4500. On that scoring drive for the Tigers, four plays, 33 yards. And they would use two minutes and 36 seconds. And capped by the 20 yard touchdown pass from CJ Tiernan, his third of the year. Zach Ray, his first of the season. Thank you, After that first uh, final ball game, they passed him like five times, and I expected him to do a lot of uh, receiving this year. He went away from that. 14 up and Tigers leading it. Gonzalez kicking off. It's his 11th touchback earlier in the game. This will be a line drive. That thing won't get 10 feet off the ground. And went through the end zone for his 12th touchback of the season. And the Bulldogs will get the ball to the 20-yard line again. You know, if you get a kicker like that, they can kick it to the end zone every time. It's got to be demoralizing for an offense to get it to 20 yeah. over and over. So no, that last one, he put it about one yard short of the back of the end zone. Heavy, heavy put by this kid. Yeah, the scores you yeah, get. Yeah, we got the here. Modern day, 28 cents was nothing in the third. Rally over he's a Ridge, 7-0. Southwest 21, Colt is 6. And Paulo Verde 35, Vincent 14. Oh. Vincent was undefeated until last week, and they lost by a field goal to Bonita Vista. And then uh, oh. Paulo Verde is the group. It's going to be an inside hand up to Brady. He finds a hole. He's going to get the 
good yardage out to about the 25 yard line, came to five. Be a second down and five. Good job out run there, get away from Aiden Shields and then the Perone, the Angel Perone brought it down. 71 yards on 15 carries. It's uh, on pace to get maybe his third 100 yard rushing game of the season. I can see why. Yeah, no, he's a tough runner. Yeah. You know who he reminds me of? The kid from Valley Center last year. Mm-hmm. That's who he reminds me of. He's in a way. He's in a way. Yeah, yeah. Second down and five, man in motion to the far side, hand it off again to Buddy. Big hole. Big hole, but he's going to be stopped short of the first down at the 29 yard line, a gain of four. So a third down and one coming up for the Bulldogs. You know, he also reminds me of one, and this is going way back in our memory bank. And we talked about him when we were driving over to Blythe. Larry Chacon. Oh, yeah. yeah Does yeah. he kind of remind you of Larry yeah. Chacon to play for Notre Dame? Notre Dame. Yeah. Right. Oh, look at this. This is different. Oh. Tigers move. No, no. I thought that was a legal procedure. Yeah. I thought it was a, I didn't see it actually snap, but the four dogs were clapping their hands, but they moved too soon. They're going to try a quick snap it, yeah. and they moved too soon. So the five-yard penalty make it a third. And six to bring it back to the 24 yard line. But they had two, the two running backs were over the garden to tackle. That was different. Right on the rear end. Oh, like that already did. Yeah, yeah, like that. So I think that's a fly off that I want to tell you about. We talked about it at Pellegrini. I found something on it. It might be a true. Third down and six from the 24. Back to pass this door. It's going to look over the middle. As a receiver, dips oh, it away. Look like JJ dips it away. It was, it, it was JJ. Yeah, yeah. Great job with the sophomore. Outstanding play. Dipped away, no good. So fourth and six to 24, they'll have to punt. And again, it's going into the wind. The Tigers have only a minute 48 to use the wind to their back. Oh, third and stuff. Yeah. See him over here by the 30 yard line. Oh, yeah. This is right here on the track. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Was, well, there was such a big hole to play yeah. before on the right side that you think, you only got a short distance to go and give him the rod. So fourth and six are going to have to punt. It's Luis Martinez. But off the side of his foot for 15 yards or last time, the high snap brings it down, and the wind's going to catch this one, too. He's going to hit at the 45-yard line, and then go sideways to the 46 to be down back at the 45. So Tigers will have a football first and 10 at the Bulldog, 45 yards. With a minute 38 to go here in the third quarter and a 14 to nothing lead. It's going to be a 21 yard punt. So see if the Tigers can take advantage of the wind of their back one more time yeah. in this quarter. And they'll have the ball at the full dog, 45 yard line. Maybe we can get one more score, then uh, start running the clock. A 10 minute, 20 play drive. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. that. Yeah, we, we got it last week. We can see it. Yeah. Rashad, Rashad, <laughs> Rashad Robinson back in the lineup for the Tigers. He'll be the left out of tier and it goes back into the shotgun. Two wide receiver seats out of the field. Jenny sets up to the right tackle for the Imperial and now Rashad moves over to the right side. Kiernan has man in motion and Perez going to the far side. And it off to Robinson breaks the tackle behind the line of scrimmage, but there's more Bulldogs there. He'll get a loss of a couple of yards on the play. Actually, a loss of three. There. Back at the 48. So it'll be second down and 13. Great stop by Oscar Jimenez for the Bulldogs. He grabs his knees and knees. So they're only 29 yards on eight carries for Richard Robinson. They stepped up pretty good. He did have that one 29-yard run. But outside of that, been held pretty much a check. No, you can't tell good people. Yeah, they do. Minute, minutes to go here in third quarter. Got it, I've got to give it to them. Bucks came into the game undefeated at 5 and 0. Tigers 4 and 1. But you kind of waste that stuff in a game against these two teams. And it's the first game of IVL. Yep. So the winner will be the, the sole leader of the IVL when this game is over. Robinson goes in motion to the right side, back to pass here, and sets up. Passes it completes to Perez at the 42 yard line. He'll get to the 40 after an eight yard gain, but the Tigers have a third down at five coming up. Almost got away. He almost got away. If he couldn't back to that a little bit sooner, I think he can get the first down. Tigers 88 yards passing tonight by Tiernan on eight of 14. Not bad. 
11 seconds to go. The Tigers are not going to be able to get another play out with the wind to their back. I think they're going to let the clock run out. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to let the clock run out in the quarter. The score after three quarters of play here in Collectico, it's the Tigers 14, the Bulldogs 0. Most good team of employees at Jazz Auto Life are constantly striving on giving you 100% satisfaction on getting your vehicle repaired at fixed price. Dan Auto Body is grateful for the support they hear from the job they're doing and being highly rated with CarWise.com. Yes, accidents are disturbing and Dan Auto Body is here for you to ease the pain and fix your vehicle as fast as possible. Stop by at 1880 West Euclid Avenue in El Centro. El Zarapid Restaurant in Imperial is 100% authentic Mexican cuisine. Their extensive menu features traditional handmade Mexican dishes with nothing but fresh ingredients. El Zarapid Restaurant has taken it over the top with their creative ideas like stuffed special quesadillas with carne asada, shrimp, or pollo asada. And yes, there's something on the menu for everyone, like 17 different burritos. El Zarapid Restaurant, open Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Starting the fourth quarter, the Tigers will be running into the wind now going left to right, and a stiff south wind. So they'll have to be punching against uh, updated score in that undefeated Washington versus undefeated UCLA game. It's now the Huskies 10, the Bruins 9. Mm. Good ball game there. Yeah, what? Washington last week, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that's true. That full beach team 4 0 coming into the night. So, Drew will have the ball, third and five from the 40-yard line of the Bulldogs. And now UCLA has scored. Oh, thanks to the Elder just let us know. 16 to 10, UCLA. Now, so, yeah, back and forth ball game there. We've got three lead teams, I think, you know. The Tigers are third and five from the Bulldog 40. Going against the wind, going left to right now, from the north to the south, here at Willis Ward Stadium in Calexico. Kennan will have Robinson to his left side in the shotgun. And steadily flag goes down. I didn't see the Tigers move. Right here, 13. So what oh, yeah. is out of my... Ethan Gonzalez. It almost looks like number eight put his hand up. Yeah. I don't know if he can touch for this match. I, the binocular view was above him, so I didn't yeah. see him, and I didn't see anybody else for Imperial move. But it will be a five-yard penalty against the Tigers. So a third down is 10 now at the 45. Tigers haven't had a lot of penalties, but the ones they've had have been a crucial time. Not that they're they ever a good time, but that was a crucial one. Instead of a third and five, it's now third and 10. The general will bring Zach Ray as a blocking back in front of Robinson on the left side next to Chairman, who's in the shotgun. And a motion press. Gets the handoff, penalty flag goes down. Oh, cramp. I've got to cramp for a question go play it down. Maybe not. Oh. And delay a game. Tigers hurt himself again on that. Uh, you hate for a cramp because you know how those are. So we've got a question go play it down. The penalty go against the Tigers and third down now at 15. Bring it back to midfield. Check that one out. Not able to see the number at uh, 52. 52. Yeah. yeah. So that's oh, going to be, uh, Diego Garola is the injured player down. We believe it's going to be a cramp. But with time out on the field, 12 minutes to go in the ballgame. It's the Tigers 14, the Bulldogs 0. The Imperial Tiger Football Association was started years ago to help the football team with much-needed equipment and sending the players to special training. Now, through their fundraising efforts from the past and now, the Imperial Tiger Association is proud of what they have accomplished and what they will continue to do in the future. They're always looking for new members. You can call Victor 760-960-6317. 960-6317. If you're interested in helping out, go Tigers! If we at home, now at 607 West Main Street in El Centro, the largest vintage and antique selection in the valley. Over 3,000 square feet of collectibles and antiques. With a wide selection of vendors, you never know what you're going to find at Simply at Home. Come check out the other great businesses inside Simply at Home's new location, such as Lola's Essentials, Wicked Ink Tattoo, All Valley Estate, and on to them. That's Simply at Home, open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5.30, and Saturdays, 10 to 3, at 607 West Main Street in El Centro. 
Learning a new skill, continuing your education, or returning to school for the first time can be stressful. IBC has the resources to help you succeed by offering programs to eligible students who qualify for tuition assistance, book grants, and additional programs like IBC's Kitchen Pantry, Housing Program, Career Services Support, and so much more. Let Imperial Valley College help you become a college graduate. Visit imperial.edu slash admissions to register today. Imperial Valley College is recognized nationwide as the top 10 community college for college excellence. We're Pat checking in with us now. This is a little late. He's back on. Oh, so I thought he'd join me here earlier. Lois and Ed, where's Jay? It's up in the mountains. Dude! Yes, they're they get to the school. Oh, they want to lay a feed, don't they? Yeah, they're feet. <laughs> We're glad to have you listening in to us up at KQ and Julie. And Girl is being helped out the field, getting a good round of applause from the collection of faithful. And he's hopping that it may not be a cramp, maybe it's something more serious. He's not putting any pressure at all. Yeah, he's trying to get up. He's trying to get up. He's just yeah. waiting to see who had a Frankenstein log that he get to do it. He's just laying it coming on. Yeah, you, you have a third and five from the 40 yard line going against the this deep impact Plexico has. And now with two penalties, it's third and 15 from the 50. Those can hurt. Robinson to the left out of Tiernan. They'll put Zach Ray out to a slot position to the left now. Tiernan gets the snap, goes back to pass. Looks over the middle. We're going to pass to put it up in the air and almost caught. Or maybe he did come back. Did Perez come back to catch it? He says he had it. And the referee said he does at the 32 yard line. Excellent job by Alejandro Perez to come back and grab that one. 18 yarder on that. Wow, what a great catch by Alejandro Perez to come back on a short pass against the wind and will get the catch and a first down for the they Tigers. That's 18 yarder. That's the third catch of the night for Perez for 36 yards. We saw the instant replay by the Clexico folks up here. Yep, he had his arms underneath that he did test it. 18 yards. Great job by Perez. Oh, it's wonderful. So first and 10 for 32. From the 32-yard line, Tigers first and 10, man in motion is Mesa. Takes the handoff. Tiernan on the option on the left side. Gets some yardage to the 25. Going to be brought down to the 21-yard line. And enough for another Tiger first down. Great option. Play on Tiernan. Good read on Tiernan. So the, he, it did hit the ground. He had it like this and it bounced right between his forearms. Once he blew it up, you can see it. 11-yard gain on that by Tiernan. That puts him on the positive side. He had minus two on two carries. So it'll give him nine yards now on three. Great option, though, run by CJ. One of the best options, in fact, we've seen him run this year. Well, that linebacker, he's a uh, running back. Right. He soon as Robinson immediately, and Jernan had the ball. Good job on the option to read. So first and ten Tigers from the Bulldog 21. Going against the win. And... Here we get a flag over Oh, delay game. Delay game is a fight again. Another penalty. That's fine. Wow. So you know what I've noticed is Gonzalez is out there. I don't see Nixon coming back out, so I hope he's okay. I can't spot him on the sideline. That's four penalties in the second half again. Got mm. a negative first and 15. And back to the 26. I just bring the offense in, no wide receivers, double tight end, pitch to the left side, Charles Robinson. Robinson, 360 to get away from two tacklers, finally going to be ran out of bounds, never loses footing, but he gets out of bounds at the 16 yard line, at the gain of 10, and it makes it a second down, and five. I know that in fact spin he did right there. Yeah, so great nice. little spin. Yeah. Nice call, though, bring the offense in, tight. Yeah. And then get it out to the outside. Yeah, like that little pitch. Yeah. Get it to the outside. Jenner will go under center this time. Another quick pitch to Rashad around the left side. He'll run into some garnet jerseys that time, though. We'll get only a yard of a play. So a third down and four coming up to the Tigers at the 15-yard line. This poor kid is still on the ground over here with it. I hope it's all it is. It's a cramp. Yeah, I have done it, too. He's a middle linebacker. He's done a great job tonight. Yeah, he has. So third down for the Tigers. 
third and about four from the 15-yard line. You wanted a long drive. We had it here. We'll tell you. We'll recap that in a moment. And a motion for it. Take the handoff. Kieran is going to carry it himself. And there's quite go ball players all over the place. Knocks the yard marker man down. Yeah. But uh, there'll be a little bit of yardage, but not enough for the first down. You'll get three, it looks like. So the Tigers will have a fourth down and a yard. Now, they have that to that. It's going against the win. I'd say go for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just want to understand why Nick is out there, and I cannot see him. I hope. I hope something serious. Yeah. We've seen Ethan out there. Ethan out there, okay. Tigers have uh, three wide receivers to the right side, and Perez, Meza, and Ethan Gonzalez. Charge alone, front of back. Kid and under center. Takes his time. Puts Perez in motion. And it off. Robinson up the middle. Robinson will get the first yeah, he does. He'll get inside the 10 yard line. So about the nine and a first and goal for the Tigers after a gain of two. And then a hard run back to the yard. Uh, that was a tough two yards right there. He, and he came, he's laying on the field. I like seeing that. Let's put the binoculars on him and see. Ooh. Yeah, he's he around right. the knee. I don't like seeing that. He's fun, so he's fun to reach. Maybe caught his cleats in the grass, perhaps. But time on the field, 8.34 to go in the ball game. It's Imperial 14, Calexico 0. Start that day off right with your favorite drink from Brickhouse Coffee. Next door to Brickhouse Deli at the Lisa Tucker Center in Imperial. Brickhouse Coffee has so many drinks to choose from. Hot drinks, blended drinks, or cold drinks, including the best tea in the valley with different flavors. Open daily with a convenient drive through And next door, Brickhouse Deli with big, full, fresh flavors. The Valley's premier deli, serving breakfast and lunch. So, come visit them both at the Leisure Tucker Center on West Aiton Road in Imperial. Rashad gets off the field under his own power, but real tender on one leg. If he'll go to the sideline, Seth Shaw will come in to replace him. First and goal, Tigers from the nine. Gonzalez stays in the lineup, that wide receiver to the right. To the left of him will be Mesa. To the left of him will be Perez. Zach Ray will be tight left. Under center is Tiernan. Takes the handoff. Pitches it to the right side on the option. And jump in. Touchdown, Tiger. Ali Perez will get the touchdown on the pitch from the option. And the Tigers lead it 20-0. Nice little triple yeah. option. Yeah, he faked the dive and then he kept it. Went around the he tackle. And then he pitched it up to Ali. Will be his first carry of the season. I like that. He's got passes, but that's his first carry. I don't oh, know. That's his first carry. To be a champ, right? So it'll be a nine-yard touchdown. Every time he gets the ball, he scores a nine-yard touchdown. <laughs> Extra point is good by Gonzalez, and with eight eleven to go in the game, it's now Imperial twenty-one, Colectico zero. For over 60 years, the Imperial Quarterback Club has supported all sports teams at Imperial High School. The money they raise goes a long way, keeping our kids busy with school activities. Members are parents and community people who care and want to donate their time. If you would like to become a member, call Betty or Larry Zinn at 760-355-1312. That's 760-355-1312. The Quarterback Club, which is the Imperial Tigers, a great season. Go Tigers! Nine plays on the drive for the Tigers. It will go 45 yards. And the Tigers will use... Let's see, a minute and a half. Two and four. Just under five, no? Three, yeah, 340. 349 and a minute 38. So five minutes and 15 seconds, basically. The 515 will go with. And Jack by the Perez. Kickoff's going to go back to the five yard line. Come out to the Ooh. 20 to the 25. Find a little bit of a seam there from the 30 to about the 32. And that's where the Bulldogs will have the ball first and 10. Oh. 
Give that to Angel Mesa. Take the first hit on him. Look at the spin off to the left there. So from the 32 yard line, Kletchko will have a ball first and then trailing 21 to 0. They have not trailed by that number all season long. They're going 5 0. Tigers defense can come up tight now. Let's see. Low snap. Take the hand off back to pass with Torres. He's going to pass it. Has a receiver open at Brody. And it goes just a little bit over his fingertips. He was open at the 45 yard line of the Tigers. He got, it, he got behind Devin. Nice pass, too, by the top one quarterback. But it'll fall incomplete, and it will be a second down and 10. Torres has completed just two of nine passes for 12 yards. Really? Good. I thought he was doing better than that. Uh, he completed the first pass of the game, of, of the first quarter that they threw, and the first pass of the third quarter, second half. Other than that, they didn't know season. Second down, but he throws a good pass. Oh, that was, there was just, very just six inches away from being completed for about 30 yards. Second down and 10 from the 32. Takes the hand off a fumble. Oh, so Tigers are going to recover it. The so fumble handoff and coming up with the ball for Imperial. Number 30, Angel Mesa. Angel Mesa. The Tiger, that's his first recovery of a fumble this year. Second turnover of the game, and the Tigers will have the ball at the Calexico. 26 yard line, first and 10. Seven fifty-two to go in the ball game, and the Tigers leading at 21 to nothing with the ball first and 10 at the Calexico 26. Yeah, this is the handoff that was to go to a he was a little behind him, and he never got a hold of it. It just kind of bounced onto the ground. And and then jumped off. We're keeping having a tough time, huh? Yeah. Making it too hard. I like that. First and ten Tigers. From the 27, I should say the 27 yard line. And I'm just going to go up the middle of Shaw. Shaw's going to get some yardage down to about the 22. That'll be a four yard gain from the 26 to the 22. Second down and six. And more importantly, the clock will continue to roll. So we want to see a lot of clock management. And right now, it's time to do it. Perfect time. Yep. Jernan goes back into the shotgun. Gets the snap. Back to pass. Going to throw it. Completes to Zach Ray at the 16-yard line. Who's the first? Oh, what's and the ball got loose or did he hand it off? The Tigers got it. Ali Perez again. Johnny on the spot. It'll be at the 16-yard line. I don't know whether it popped up in the air. It didn't look like it, but then all of a sudden, Ali had the ball. So the 16, the Tigers were the first down on that. Oh, we did. It popped right up. It did pop up. Yeah. Oh. Zach was going down when he was going to pop up. if he can be at all our games right yeah. now. Did you follow us? Go to all the games? Is this what we work for? Yeah. <laughs> we'll give you Gatorade and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so first it's in for the Tigers. At the Bulldog 16. Back to pass here and it goes over the middle. And it completed. Ali Perez again. This time at the 13 yard line. Be a short game but keeps the clock rolling. Yeah, that's, that's what's reaching for that. It's going behind him. He says that was coming to him. Uh, he did not get down. <laughs> so second down and seven from the 13. Five completions in a row for CJ Tiernan. Clock rolls down, 6.16 to go and rolling. Tigers up 21-0 over the Bulldogs. Kiernan goes under center. Perez goes in motion to the far side. Kiernan, and off up the middle of the left tackle to Shaw. Shaw will get inside the 10-yard line to about the 9. Still a good gain of 4 yards. Third down and 3 coming up. 4 hard yards. Yeah. Thank you. 15 yards on six tough carries for Seth Shaw. The Tigers with a third down and three at the Bulldog nine. 5.39 to go in the ball game. Trail Valley League opener. The Tigers 4-1 on the year against the unbeaten Bulldogs. And Imperial leading at 21 to nothing. 
I see they're still working on Rashaza on the bench or something. Yeah, I didn't like when, when they, the coaches thing. got to him, he was holding on to his left hand. I didn't like to see that. Hopefully it's something serious. Ken and Mender center again, since Mesa in motion, fumbles the ball, and Tiernan picks it up himself. He'll dive forward to get back to the line of scrimmage. So the Tigers now with a fourth down and three at the nine. Just a little... Field goal. Going for a field goal. So the Jaws are coming for a field goal with Tim. Tiernan will stand for the hold. But place the ball down around the 16. Yeah. So this will be a 26-yard attempt. Gonzalez on field goals this year, three or four. Longest has been 36, he's had two of them. Tigers will call timeout. 441 to go in the ball game. It's Imperial 21, Crexico 0. Have you been wanting new flooring but putting it off? Don't wait anymore. Derma Floor Covering has the flooring you want at blowout prices. Yes, I need blowout prices. Hardwood plank, regularly priced $9.99 a square yard, now $3.99 a square yard, and over 1100 square feet in stock. Select tiles, regularly priced $5.99 to $6.49 a square foot, now on sale at $1.34 to $1.99 a square foot. Stop by Derma's Floor Covering today. 220 North J Street Imperial. Your flooring wishes can come true. At Dermot's War Covering. So the Tigers will set up for a 26 yard field goal attempt by Ethan Gonzalez, who is 3 of 4 this year, and had two 36 yarders. And last week at 37 yards, but they officially made it 36, so he has two of 36. So this will be a 26 yarder from the 16 yard line. Tiernan on the hold. The wind has died down, died down a little bit from what we feel up here, but the back is still showing pretty good. Good snap, ball is down, kick is up. He's got a lot of leg into it. He's a strong kicker, and it's good. With 4.35 to go in the ball game, it's now Imperial 24, Calexico 0. Wake up with Rocio Cafe. Open daily at 7 a.m. Serving your favorite breakfast. From omelet, pancakes, eggs, benedict, waffles, and yes, Mexican breakfast too. Rocio Cafe serves lunch till 2 p.m. From sandwiches, salads, and yes, of course, the all-American cheeseburger. Rocio Cafe thanks you for voting us the best breakfast in town. Once again, you can order online at Rocio Cafe El Centro or call 760-352-9655. A five-play, 17-yard drive for the Tigers, capped by a 26-yard field goal, is fourth of the year for Ethan Gonzalez, and Imperial now leads to 24 to 0 with 4:35 to go in the ball game. And we've used uh, just three, used up three more minutes, three minutes and uh, 17 seconds on that drive. What's the record in field goals for Do you know? Most field goals in the game. I need to look it up. I'm not really sure. Or for the season. Yeah, I'll have to, I, I'm not sure. We'll have to look it up. I want to say it's five or six, but I, I guess it doesn't do So Gonzalez kicking off. Line drive kick's going to hit at the 20 yard line, picked up at the 15 by the Bulldogs. To the 25, out to the 29 yard line, oh. and dropped hard there. Marco Escare was the one who brought it out. And the Bulldogs will have the ball first and 10. They'll have it just shy of their 30 yard line. Big hit by Angel Benson to bring him down to the Tigers. I see somebody in crutches on the bench, maybe? Maybe it would not, but I forgot to bring mine out. See him on the very right side of the bench. It's a single number. Oh, it is? Okay. Because I cannot find Nick on the sideline. I've been looking, looking for him. Shouldn't be hard to find. It's six foot no. four, but yeah. you're right. I'm, looking at I'm not seeing him either with the binoculars. Back to pass is Torres to come up into the pocket. Then you're going to be stopped. Be a sack or going to have a hold against the collector going on top of it. He gets the sack on that. Ethan Breeze again. Ethan, yeah. He's played a well of the game. Really is. Sack was being held. Oh, it's declined. It's going to be declined because it will be a loss of two on the play. So a second down now at 12 and pull the ball back to the Colexico 28. Reeves with the back. Two yard loss, 420 to go in the game. Imperial 24, Calexico 0. We have a rare Thursday night edition of Friday Night Football this week against Soulville for homecoming. Back to Bob Torres, incomplete, throws away on front of the intended receiver, Loera Rod 
Rodriguez falls incomplete, so a second down. They get a third down now and 12 from the 28. He sure earned that one. It's been a pretty good little rivalry again with Hopewell for the last few years. And for many years, we didn't play them. Once we got out of the Desert League or the Mountain League or Desert Mountain League or however you wanted to call it back then, and didn't play Hopewell for several years. And then uh, I think we had our way the first couple of times, and then Hopewell played really tough the last couple of times. So it'll be an interesting game on Thursday night this week for homecoming for Imperial. Torres goes back and try the same one. Going to complete it this time behind the line of scrimmage. Diving forward, same Loretta Rodriguez, but he'll get the 31. It'll be only a gain of three, so fourth down and nine coming up from the 31. And Quetzco is going to need to go for it with 350 to go. Good job they gave him a to come back and get him from behind. Kind of put behind. Good them up. Only the third completion in the game. And for a total of just 15 yards for the Bulldogs. Three completions and 11 attempts. Tigers defense has great. put a lot of pressure on the quarterback great. tonight. Great job by the Tigers defense tonight. Can't exactly blame the quarterback as the Tigers defense put a lot of pressure on him. Just a sophomore got a lot of air in it. So it's an hand out. Going to go back to pass on the far side as the receiver. Can't quite come back to get it. And it'd be uh, pretty well covered by the Tigers, but getting a hand on it was the intended receiver, Marco Esquel, and it will be a fourth down, but actually it'll be a first down for the Tigers now, turn the ball over on down. Yeah, he puts it on the outside shoulder. He has to come back in to get him. Yep. If he puts it on the outside shoulder, he might be gone. There's no way the shot gets it. So a 3-11 to go in the ball game. Tigers have the football and a 24 to nothing lead. Yeah, I didn't have to see Jared on the side of that. Yeah, I don't see any. And uh, is coming out right, wide right. Yep, he comes out wide right along with Peza. Or actually Perez. Yeah, Perez. And Peza would be on the far side along with Zach Gray in the slot. And now Menace comes in at the running back. Oh, gosh. So the right side, and we got Robles as a quarterback. So the junior quarterback back to back dumps it. Going to yeah. complete it. To Perez at the 25 yard line. No, it's going to be to Mesa, Mesa at the yeah. 25 yard line. So it became uh, six yards on the play. Oh, good. Getting I'm some, to see this. Get get some, some, that guy's coming in because that's the first time we've seen Robles yeah. since the uh, opener went into the bullet game. Yeah. 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 That will go for six yards. So it's second down and four from yeah. the 25. Yeah, he said they said that he was still turning the. Uh, Offense, you know, we're, we're lining up the players at some time, so they use a lot of time out. Well, and then he, he got sick too, remember? He missed the oh, game center right. also. Yeah. That's right, he's getting that title. So, Minnesota stays in the lineup right next to Gavin Robles, who goes back to pass. Junior quarterback gets up under a ball, and that buys him the chance some room to run, maybe. He's going to dive forward, almost get the first down. It'll be a yard short, but the Tigers will have a third down and a yard. From about the 23 yard line. Oh, and he does make third and two from the, from the three. Yeah, good job pulling that in and taking off. You've got the pressure coming in from the right side. He had a nine yard gain, if you remember, back in the Sabola game, and he really looked sharp in getting it, too, when DJ got hurt. He hurt his wrist. Oh, that's right. And yeah. Robles came in. He said, and the coaching staff said he was good. He could have come back, but they said he was good. They were, they were doing okay, so they just set them in. So the third down and two from the 23. Tigers will go under center. So Robles will go under center. The minutes will be the low running back behind him. He'll get the hand up with a right tackle, and it looks like he's going to get the first down. He will. He'll get to the 21 and the first down for the Tigers and use up some more clock. A minute 24 to go. And the Tigers another first down. Good job. First carry of the year. Yeah. Three minutes. Strong kid. And it's going to go for two yards in the first down. Back to the running. Back to the running. Yep. Tigers will take a knee now. So they do such a couple of times. This ball game's over. Wow. Tigers are going to run their record overall to 5-1, and one, and they will hand the Bulldogs their first loss of the season. They'll now be at 5-1. and one. And this Tiger team really stepped up tonight. What a different Especially defense. What a whole different team tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I miss this team. I miss it. 
This time we started the year. He went flat after Valley Center for a couple of games, and we're back. Perfect time for to start Lee. Oh, here's up the right. So Tigers will take a knee one more time, and we'll call it good. And they are now the leaders of the Imperial Valley League after one weekend. And the players congratulate each other on the field. It shows sportsmanship as the political players are already on the 50 ready to come across to meet the Imperial players. And the final score here in Calexico, it's the Imperial Tigers 24, the Calexico Bulldogs 0. And we'll be back to recap it in just a moment. Hi, this is Jason Jack, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here in Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year, PO box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Isle in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970-4500. Bo and his team of employees at Gas Auto Body are constantly striving on giving you 100% satisfaction on getting your vehicle repaired and fixed right. Gas Auto Body is grateful for the support they hear from the job they're doing and being highly rated with CarWise.com. Yes, accidents are disturbing and Gas Auto Body is here for you to ease the pain and fix your vehicle as fast as possible. Stop by at 1880 West Euclid Avenue in El Centro. El Zarape Restaurant in Imperial is 100% authentic Mexican cuisine. Their extensive menu features traditional handmade Mexican dishes with nothing but fresh ingredients. El Zarape Restaurant has taken it over the top with their creative ideas like stuffed special quesadillas with carne asada, shrimp, or pollo asada. And yes, there's something on the menu for everyone, like 17 different burritos. El Zarape Restaurant, open Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Imperial Tiger Football Association was started years ago to help the football team with much needed equipment and sending the players to special training. Now through their fundraising efforts from the past and now, the Imperial Tiger Association is proud of what they have accomplished and what they will continue to do in the future. They're always looking for new members. You can call Victor at 760-960-6317. That's 960-6317 if you're interested in helping out. Go Tigers! The Cavalry was scoring and all came in the second half. It was a 0-0 halftime score, and the Tigers would score on a fumble recovery touchdown of 25 yards by Ethan Reeves at the 8.42 mark of the third quarter. The extra point by Ethan Gonzalez was good, and the Tigers left 7-0. They would make it 14-0 on a four-play 33-yard drive that lasted 2 minutes and 36 seconds and completed the, the drive on a 20-yard touchdown pass. D.J. Tiernan, his third of the year, to Zach Bray, his first of the year. And with the extra point, Tigers led 14 nothing, with 8.58 to go in the third quarter, or 2.58 to go in the third quarter. And then with 8.11 to go on a nine-play, 45-yard drive using up five minutes and 15 seconds off the clock, it was a nine-yard touchdown run by Alejandro Perez. The extra point was good by Ben Gonzalez. Tigers led 21 and nothing, and then they would wind it up on a five-play, 17-yard drive using three minutes and 17 seconds Cast by the 26-yard field goal, his fourth of the year for Ethan Gonzalez. And that's how this ends. Imperial 24, Calexico 0. For the Tigers, they would complete 12 of 18 passes in the game for 121 yards. Five of those would go for 40 yards to Alejandro Perez. There would be two for 25 yards to, to Meza, Devin Meza. And then Zach Gray would have four catches, 45 yards, and the touchdown. And then a 13-yard catch by Rashad Robinson before going out with an injury. And we see him on crutches as we look out over the field now. So the Tigers 121 yards passing. In rushing, Robinson would lead the rushers with 42 yards. That's Shaw. That's on 11 carries. Shaw, six carries, 15 yards. Kiernan, five carries for 10 yards. Devin Mesa, one carry for seven yards. And then in the eye yard, a nine-yard touchdown run by Alejandro Perez, his first carry of the year. And gets nine yards. Robles gets two yards and two yards by the minute. So let's set it up real quick here. 57, 64, 74, 76, 78, 87 yards rushing for the Tigers. So a total of 208 yards unofficially on offense. For the Bulldogs, they would complete just three of 12 passes for 15 yards 
Two of those catches would be to Frankie Loera Rodriguez for 10 yards, and the other right off the bat early in the game to Benjamin Rodriguez for 5 yards. And then in the rushing department, yeah. Zeus Pratis would have 75 yards on 16 carries. Andres Castro, two carries for six yards. The quarterback, Sean Torres, minus six out of sack. Two carries for five yards for Loera Rodriguez and two yards for Leo Conchola on one carry. So we'll just quickly add this up. That's uh, 80, 88, minus six, 82 yards rushing. So a total given up by the Tigers' defense, 97 yards. Wow. So the Tigers' defense stepped up big tonight. Uh, we'll take a break and come back and give us the defensive stats, then we'll look at the scores of the other games. Again, the final score in Calexico, Imperial 24, Calexico 0. The Imperial Tiger Football Association was started years ago to help the football team with much-needed equipment and sending the players to special training. Now, through their fundraising efforts from the past and now, the Imperial Tiger Association is proud of what they have accomplished and what they will continue to do in the future. They're always looking for new members. You can call Victor at 760-960-6317. at 960-6317. If you're interested in helping out, go Tigers! Final score here in Glexico, Imperial 24, and the Bulldogs 0, and defensively for the Tigers, they were big to the home. Gosh. Uh, so let me start with the big, big defensive play by Ethan Reeves. I had him with four tackles. Picked up that fumble, ran it back for a score, and then he had a sack here sack also, yeah. at the end of the yeah. game. Then we have the... Seth Shaw, leaving all backers with six. And then Pablo Moreno and Joe Diagampos, each with five. Angel Barone, Zach Ray, David Mesa, and Aiden Shields, along with Ethan Reeves, each with four for the Tigers. And then J.J. Jimenez, the sophomore linebacker, ended up with three. Max Alvarez had two big tackles in the fourth quarter for the Tigers. Ended up with two. And Angel Mesa also with two. And Angel also picked up that fumble at 26 yard line. A couple of uh, final scores in college ball. I want to thank Leota for checking in with that for us. Boise State defeated San Diego State 35-13. to And then he said he thinks that UCLA's defense has now caught more Washington passes than Washington's <laughs> offense. The Bruins now lead the Huskies 26-10. to so we thank you, Lee, for checking in with those and uh, yeah. the baseball score early. We really appreciate that. And you got some local scores yeah, for us. All the 30, 56, Vincent, 20. Wow. Good grief. Didn't expect that. No, it didn't. And what else? Then we got Southwest 29, Copa 12 in the fourth. Okay. So Raleigh over the first Hila Ridge. Of the year. Yeah. Raleigh over Hila Ridge, 21 up in the fourth. And I think that's it. Uh, which is the last central score we had. Modern day Catholic 35, Central Zero is a final. Oh, final. Yeah. Okay. As I mentioned, Modern day Catholic is a Division One school. Their th uh, three of their losses were to the top three teams in Division One. And so when you look at that, that was a big test for Central. Yeah, they, they played a very tough schedule this year. And uh, next week, speaking of schedules, we'll be back on Thursday, homecoming in Imperial hosting the Hopewell Vikings. If you can make it out, come out. You may see some of your old schoolmates. If you don't, make sure to turn in with us. We'll be on at 645 again on Thursday night as the Tigers will host the Hopewell Vikings, the last non-league game before the Tigers will finish out with the rest of their league schedule. And I, I tried to get a uh, hold of Steven to see if he could let me know what's going on with Nixon. And uh, okay. Rashad, but not okay. okay. Well, hopefully we'll have some good news for you on Thursday for that. But. Uh, your final thoughts on this, George? Good turnaround for the defense. Yeah. You know, after we got handed our rear end last, the last two games. Yeah. Well, especially the Palo Verde game. Palo Verde game. Giving yeah. up 33 points. That was tough. And they played pretty good ball last week against Cedar Ridge. Okay. But then tonight, it was pretty light out. I mean, they different. stepped up to the occasion of facing a team that was 5-0. and oh. And going into the They had to get good start. Right. Get it. Now yeah. we're... Yeah. It's pretty good league win. Yeah, this is a good league win. This is also the 16th win in a row against the Bulldogs. I like that. So it keeps that streak going. We broke that streak earlier against uh, Valley Center, where they had a 10 in a row. We broke that. And we certainly didn't want to see another one broke the other way tonight. Yeah, it's it's a, 
Tiger Step Up Big. I want to thank all of our sponsors for, for being with us once again tonight as they are throughout the season. I want to thank Lee Elder for keeping us abreast of some of the college scores and some baseball scores and other insights that he may have back in Ohio. 